Hey, um, Ethan, you mind if I discuss what I that suggestion I made? No, I don't mind. You can go ahead. Uh-huh. You know, I, I was listening to Ethan and Nora talking the other day. They were making fun of some, some, some chick who had like ripped off some article, whatever the fuck. Okay, like they made. I mean, I'm sure they're ad- an adorable couple in real life, but I'm talking on air. They sounded terrific. You know that that combination of of Nora's like you know she she has a lovely voice and she's got that that cute British accent. And Ethan, you know, he, he sounds like a, you know, like a, a red like a hillbilly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, the, the Brit and the, the 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 aristocrat and the hillbilly. They should do a show together. No, I'm not kidding around. I, well, I think you know that, what's funny. I don't feel like everybody knows this. Um, you know, some people do that, that watch the show long enough. But Nora actually was one of the people who founded the Kill Stream back in the day. We used to do it, me and her and uh, and Janet Bloomfield. Uh, that used to be the the hosting. Uh, rotation there and then uh well i went to jail and then i got back out and uh you know she's doing other stuff now she doesn't have enough time to do it every single week um so and then we moved to five days a week so it's been me gator and zadan since then but yeah she's we've done a lot of stuff together actually no it's i was thinking that you guys would make a great couple like like some sort of like you know couples podcast or some shit like that something more mainstream than than the uh, than the kill stream you know, I, I, I don't mean this in, in any kind of, uh, I, I, this is a sincere suggestion. I think that you guys would be terrific, you know? You, you sounded lovely together. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing something maybe like uh, once or twice a month with her. Uh, just, you know, a side project from the kill stream. Uh, but yeah, we have good chemistry. I mean, we, we're married, obviously, so we had to have some type of chemistry to make that happen. But yeah, I do enjoy talking to her, so. Yeah, but it's a, not, a, not everybody who's married together has good, like, on-air chemistry. That's true. Right? That's yeah. true. And so, so yeah, I mean that that kind of like and, and that juxt- juxtaposition. That's the thing that I loved about Andy and JF's show, that you had like two very clear personalities, and their juxtaposition was just it, it was just really amusing. It was like fun to watch that juxtaposition. By the way, whatever happened to Andy and um, and, and uh, JF? They had their reunion. Was it any good? I didn't. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I watched some of it. Uh, I think uh, they're talking about doing it every couple weeks now. Um, like rotating the channels. The band's uh, getting not, back together. Yeah, so that's what they're talking about. I mean, we'll see if they. Hi, if they okay. keep going. did you guys hear that? I, I could have sworn I heard an Indian screaming in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I heard that one too. Yeah. That's just my prediction. What? What's, What's your prediction? That, that fight's not going to happen. I said that. I said it wasn't going to happen. I think it's going to happen, and I know for something's going to happen regardless. Uh, so. Uh, I mean, I won't get into it too much, but there will be. There's some type. They're talking about some type of backup plan as well. So, I already have the 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 uh, the headquarters booked there in Knoxville. So. I, I have faith that Andy will show up. I, I, yeah, I, I as far as far as Donga goes, I can't. I I yeah, I'm, I'm split on it. He well, seems even, so far invested now that how could he pull back? But even with Andy, like the, Andy, Andy, like I was on that stream where he had the uh, the chick from the the company that was going to sponsor the fight. And he like I was floored. My jaw hit the fucking floor when he just kicked her out of the conversation. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you? Doing? Why are you yeah, doing? No, you, no, you see, yeah. no, Andy. Okay, I'm gonna say this because I believe it wholeheartedly. Andy played that right. Tara shows up. You're talking about Tara Larosa. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tara Larosa, big badass chick, right? Can hurt people. Andy basically says, "Shut your fucking whore mouth and make me a sandwich," <laughs> and throws her off his stream. After that, Tara liked him. She was very nice to him. I don't think she's used to guys saying "shut the fuck up" or. I, I think it's like this weird thing with strong women where if you treat them like that, they they respond to it. And like Andy, oh. I don't know if he stumbled his way into it, but he did. Jim, it would work for you and Jim. Try it out. <laughs> oh, I was. No, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Tara came in there. They got really heated each other. Mm-hmm. He throws her out after talking shit. She comes back in. Now they're all buddy buddy, and she likes yeah. him. She comes back with her tail between her legs, and she just licks you know, his I hand. Think yeah. that's just dealing with fucking crazy people. That's my take. <laughs> I, I just think that okay, it's like okay. We, I tried to do my uh, the, like my big tough talk because he was he was basically shitting on her for a fucking hour, and then. <laughs> <laughs> Was back and was like, okay, I get how it is. I just want to lay down the rules, and she does it as uh, neutrally as possible to get get it out of the way. But I, I don't know. Annie could fucking surprise me. Um, I would be I would be shocked if Tonka showed up. Well, I mean, Annie's been the one pushing for it. Like I've seen him talk to Larosa. I've seen him constantly kind of push. Like, when are the contracts coming? When can I sign the contracts? When can we get the promo shit up? 
it sounds like Ralph and him have a, a room or a venue booked or some shit like that down there. So it seems like he's invested in showing up. But like Tonka, I'm not seeing the same thing. He doesn't seem hyped about showing the contract. He doesn't seem hyped about doing promo picks. He doesn't seem like he's trying to keep in contact with La Rosa or Leroy, the guy doing the promo or the venue. I mean, like it, it, to me, that's why I'm kind of iffy on it. But I, I, how is he ever going to come back online if he doesn't show up at this point? Well, he hasn't thought it that far. Come on. The guy's well, operating second to second. Okay. I'll tell you what I want to see. You, you see that uh, old show, Boondocks, on uh, on Adult Swim. There was an episode sure. of that where a blind guy beats the fuck out of the grandpa. And they schedule a rematch. It's a huge thing. And the grandpa just beats the shit out of the blind guy because it was a fluke that he that he won the first time. I hope that I don't care who wins. I just hope that it's a completely one sided fucking disaster where somebody is just completely mauled the first round in seconds. That's <laughs> that's what I want to see. I don't want to see a fair fight. I want to see some guy just get obliterated, like lopsided. You want it lopsided? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't, I don't like fair fights. I'm not for that shit. Me and Jim, no, no, me no. and Jim, like, like punching down. That's the. Well, it is no. funny how Tonka was talking all this shit, and then all of a sudden it came time to the contracts are submitted, and he didn't say anything. Andy had to confirm that he actually sent the contract in. You know, Tonka sent it in. Uh, and it just seems, I don't know, some of the stuff he was doing, not like, I'm not going to send in a promo <laughs> pick. It just seemed like he was trying to throw up, um, you Roblox. know, walls. And, yeah, yeah, exactly, where it's like, oh, okay, I'm going to bluff Andy out of doing this. And then yeah. Andy, you know, did it. And yeah. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. With that, I that mean, stupid condition of that you, Jim, had to sign over, uh, sign off your channel or whatever the fuck. That was just. Oh, I, I, like I said, it. I've already said, uh, yeah. you know. If, if Tonka, so if he wants to do bet for bet, I'll, you know, if he yeah. wins, I will delete my channel. But <laughs> if Andy wins. Tonka has to dress up like a woman with high heels, put lipstick on, and walk up and down the boulevard outside the fucking venue telling people he's a $2 whore that got beat by a coke addict. <laughs> <laughs> he, has to do it. he has to do it for an hour, and it has to be filmed. Look, he's not going to show up. But it's fair not to see the guy you're fighting before you fight them? Like, I've never heard of that before. Somebody told me, I said, well, what is his logic on this? I didn't listen to the Kuma. I heard like 10 minutes of it. And I was like, well, what is his logic on not submitting a pick? And they said, oh, he wants to surprise Andy with how he looks when he gets to the fight or something. And I'm sitting there thinking, Bullshit. what the fuck? I've never, that's not fair. Well, you know? maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe, I, okay, I mean, there is the off chance that, Andy's showing up thinking he's going to be fighting Tonto, and instead T-Hawk walks into the fucking <laughs> with fucking 38-inch pythons ready to rip him in half. I don't know. I, Jim, Ethan, I'm sorry, but you guys are so fucking naive. He is not going to show up, and he's going to shut his channel down after. I'm Out thinking of it's going to happen. He's not going to shut down his channel. On. I'm going on record. What's it's he gonna happen. For? His channel is garbage. He's, he's got like no. 200 sub uh, viewers or 300 viewers. And, and holy shit, I got like this 1300 coach, coach, right now. I'll bet you I'll bet you $20 that it that he shows up and it happens. How about the big bet here? I'll bet you uh, $20. Big bet. Okay, fine. I'll I'll take the I'll take your money. Happy to. You just, just sign, it, see how sign it over to St. Jude's now because that's where I'm going to be <laughs> sending the money. You know? All that all that shitty talk he has to show up, right? I, I don't know. That's what I think. We'll see. That's like five bowls of Boris. That's not that's not play money. That's that's good money. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I'm I'm magnanimous. I'll, I'll send it to St. Jude's and the and the little dying kids of cancer that the Wall Street jo Journal fucked over. Yeah, yeah, we'll they, have to have they can get, get borscht. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know, Jim, you know, going back to this issue of of living in Ukraine. I mean, you were asking about this. I, I honestly, I, I mean, not not kidding around. And forget about the issue of like two years down the line. You know, YouTube might cut you off or whatever. I honestly think that uh, for for people who are making a living online, Eastern Europe is the way to go. It's cheap. It's uh, easy to live here. You don't need a car. Um, you know, it, it's well, yeah, yeah, that that sounds attractive. To, I mean, don't get me wrong and stuff, but I, I I like to be the kind of person that would be able to have uh, backups and alternatives sure, for five sure. years, or ten years, or fifteen years down the road. Yeah. I, I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket and be like, oh. I, I'm making a little bit of money on the internet and things are going great. And then if people in Ukraine are like, okay, you know, fag, what what kind of work can you do? <laughs> no, no, no. You're not no, a citizen. No, think of it in these terms. Think of it in these terms. See, imagine you were to spend two years in Ukraine, right? Uh, and, and you're thinking that the whole YouTube thing is going to sunset in a couple of years, right? Okay, fine. So you, you live and work out of Ukraine. Everything is cheap. I mean, shit, you guys, this is my, my uh, studio space, right? It's 650 square feet, and I'm paying with uh, electric and, and internet. I'm paying uh, 450 bucks a month, right? And so it, it's cheap to live here. It's it's you can 
you can you can save a lot of money by living here. Okay, you don't have to think of it that you're living in Ukraine forever. You can be like, okay, I'll spend two years there. Uh, whatever I'm earning online, say just for the sake of argument, I'm I'm earning five grand a month, and um, I'm I'm by living in Ukraine with all in and travel and all the rest of it, I'm spending I don't know like um, twenty five hundred a month. You know, it'll be twenty five hundred that you can bank over a two year period, right? That's good money. That's uh, sixty grand over over a two year period that you just put in your back pocket. You know, it's what he's trying to say is start doing more streams. You make like a thousand dollars an hour doing your streams. Make that money now while you can before it's over. And then, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't, don't get me wrong. I do like st- streaming occasionally, but it's not a prime motivator. The money is not a prime motivator. Otherwise, it'd be streaming every fucking day. Who would You're do right, that? I, I do. I do, make, I, do make, I do make good money streaming. I mean, if that was the motivator, I'd be doing it every day. What kind of Jew would stream every single day? What I, I, I don't know. know. I don't know. You know, you got to make those sparkles, Ralph. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We want more. What was it? D Live bananas? What were they giving out in? Uh, Antigonies and ice creams and yeah, uh, what was ice creams lemons. And yeah, yes. lemons. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, that was. D Live is so dumb. I will never understand why you'd have a small platform. You suddenly have a, a chance at a large influx of people to come in. And you're not willing to accommodate them to keep the audience of a hundred appeased. I mean, this isn't even like an established community. It's a fucking hustle for a Bitcoin offshoot. Yeah, that they, they actually the prices on. They actually messaged me the other day, and they said, "Oh, I'm just Shame, we just want to come keep back." You. Is that no? What the they're just like, was? "We just want to keep you up to date," because they said they were launching like a mature side of the site, basically oh, X-rated or whatever. You can do whatever you wanted. No, like we, we just want to keep you up to date. We're not launching that on Tom, but we're still planning on it. You should, you should email them back and be like, the only launch I'm interested in is when you launch your ass into space, bag and fuck off. <laughs> well, I do wish I had went directly to streaming now, just right from the start, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't, I hadn't talked to him yet. And, well, um, I can, I can see your hesitation. The site does like uh, to me before you fucking move, it was just the Narcissa stream. Like that was the only thing that I knew that was there, and it had the unicorns and it had the sparkles. And I'm like, this is a gay shit stream site. Well, some of them had been getting pissed off. So there was another uh, transgender individual on there last night, and they were doing a stream. I think it's a Narcissa like acolyte or something, and they were doing a stream that's I forget what the title was. It was something like um, uh, "Stream Me and the KKK." Hope you enjoy the the money or some shit like that. And it was just all bitter. Are you talking shit. about Kitty Style or is that a different no? No, it was somebody else. It was another tranny, and they were all mad and the title was talking about streamies the new kkk or some shit like that but the stream, <laughs> and, they and, don't, and they literally don't give a f- they don't care uh so with, with kitty style that dude's like a schizophrenic and he's on welfare yeah and- what, what is the story with that I, somebody was like you have to check out they're like you have to check this guy out so i turned the stream on to watch him i'd never watched any of his shit before and it's just him i think it's a guy it's like norwegian or something right does Denmark, Denmark, or De- yeah, whatever, yeah, uh, one of the, one of them. So, but he, like, he's fucking <laughs> screaming his head off and, and arguing with fucking chat about shit, and then he'll get really calm and laugh, and then he he'll sits there and smokes again. weed he, he on his stream. Uh, he he streams for eighteen in. hours a day, and he, he got, was saying like he, he got put saying, in jail over there. Josh, did you see that for like threatening a politician? He had to do six yes. months in a, in a Denmark prison. So yeah, he's, he's a schizophrenic. He has he has a pretty easy time. You know what I'm saying? So, say it again. Yeah, no, I'm know. saying that doing time in, in a Danish prison must be pretty pretty. Yeah, no, it's not, yeah, hard time there. But no, he's a schizophrenic and he smokes weed. And if you know anything about schizophrenics, like usually. Oh, it's a good idea. It's a very it's good, a, good idea. fantastic <laughs> idea. Smart idea. But he has a kid. He has a baby mama, and he he's living off of the welfare system there, basically. And he streams 18 hours a day, like every waking moment he's on stream. And he was even saying like, oh, Ralph, he, he only streams a couple hours a night. And I, I am the hardest working person on the stream. I'm on it 18 hours a day. Why does he get all well, the... What, what does he stream about other than screaming at his audience? Like the hour I saw was just him going off on people. He, yeah. it, it, have you ever seen the Narcissus stream? It's basically the same fucking thing. Narcissus streams 18 hours a day. I can't, I can't, I can't watch Cosmo. Like it's too depressing. It's too fucking depressing seeing what that oh, is. Oh, I can't. <laughs> well, see, a lot of the people on there are kind of mad because, uh, you know, um, the kill stream and Zidane and Gator and a lot of other people showed up and they have a like a leaderboard thing every week where they give out cash prizes and we pretty much just took them all. We off took it over. Top. Yeah, they took them took them down a peg or about eight pegs. Well, the first place uh, was used to be Narcissa and the first place on the high score table is six hundred fifty dollars a week. 
Like that's a full time fucking income just for getting number one consistently, which is Ralph now. But after uh, after he came over, I need to stop fucking. Chad's gonna eat me alive if I keep saying over wrong. But all these people came over and they took over <laughs> all the spots between like one and twenty five, bumping down the people who were on stream me before. Uh, to like the, the $20 mark on the high score table. So all these people who had like full-time income from stream.me for being on the high score table are suddenly earning jack shit. And I, I multi-stream there and I get like, I'm usually in the 90 to hundred dollar range just cause uh, I, I don't think I will be anymore because you have so much competition there. Now. Well, that, that's what I find interesting about them. Like if you compare that to D live, D live gives you bananas that are worth uh, imaginary pennies. If you can ever change them in. Streamy's like paying out weekly fucking funds to people, and it seems like they've been doing that for a while. Well, yeah, plus they're pretty happy to have us there because they've been paying $650 to somebody getting like 10 people per stream. You know what I mean? You uh, fucked so their it, golden goose, right? You understand yeah. that? How much hate they're going to have for you? Well, <laughs> they the, really do. The best part, when I started doing it soon after Ralph moved, and I was just starting with my stuff, and I was I was like in the you know the seventh place and right over Kitty Cell. I had tuned into a stream once, and he was literally just him staring there with a scowl in this webcam on the high score table with me right above him <laughs> and he had he had his mouth uh, his mouse and his little cursor was just drawing circles over my name right on top of his <laughs> like just looking like he had fucking murderous intent and he talks about how I do not want to be on this, this kiwi farms I don't want to be on it you're ruining a good thing for me and <laughs> that to me was funny well I and came I, into his chat the first day I was there you know I try to you know be nice to the other streamers or whatever. So I came in, I was talking to him. He's just like, oh, good to see you here. It's probably going to push me down the list a little bit, but I'm glad you're here and was telling me his life story. And then I check in on him a week later and everybody's like, wow, this guy's talking all kinds of shit. He's mad because his money's lower now. And uh, I don't know, I guess he had a change of heart uh, there after a week or so. Yeah, because so. you stole his money. <laughs> oh, God. But the first day he was all like, oh, good to see you here. If you, if you mention me, don't don't mention me too much because I don't want my stream to blow up and all this and that. And I was like, oh, you know what happened? <laughs> he, he took away his weed money. Now he can't fucking relax. <laughs> <laughs> He's on edge. The, the fucking demons are yeah, coming out after him now. He stole his well, weed he money. He was as long as my fucking arm. Like, uh, I, was, I don't know, dudes. Just sit there and chief. Yeah, some, somebody needs. in chat said they've been doing this for two years. Yeah, and on their little page, $170,000 they paid out in two years for their weekly stream. Nobody. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Who's, really? bankroll, who's bankrolling this site? I actually do not know. That, that, that's, the that's the I've question to ask. I've heard some ideas about some people who have some investments in it that I won't reveal on air, but um, some known folks, but I, I won't go into all that. But what, do, they happen, do, do, do they happen to like... Uh, uh, oh God, I can't remember the name. Do they happen to like um, a, a drink... Uh, a fuel, possibly, a fuel yes, drink like possibly, that, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not really F fuel or an H fuel, yeah. but somewhere uh -huh. in between. Yes, <laughs> I have heard that. Yes. Oh, you've heard that. Oh, okay. No, I was wondering if it, if it were people with, um, uh, you know, vowels at the end of their last names. What? Everybody no. goes silent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus <laughs> Christ! Explain man. yourself. <laughs> No, I heard the I heard the fuel thing. That that's the same thing that I heard. Uh, so, uh, wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. Ever. Ralph, what is your opinion on uh, since we're talking about fuels unrelated? What's your opinion on G Fuel? <laughs> I love it. It's a delicious drink. It helps me get through the day, and I, I can just, <laughs> it's delicious. forever. It's delicious. That's probably my favorite drink, honestly. It's great stuff. I like the cotton candy flavor. I think that's probably my favorite. And that's your favorite one, is it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. What Keem's around? Is he in the chat? No, they're just, they're just oh, saying okay. that thing. No, I like how you're instantly able to identify what we're talking about <laughs> just for that. <laughs> no, uh, why, why is he hanging around here? I mean, I, I just idle curiosity. I can tell you why. His audience is fucking kids and he has more fun being a dick over here because it's not, it's not such a sanitized place because he has he has to watch his ass when he's on his stream because he's not even supposed to be on his stream like he his drama alert thing is is like a shell company owned by well, somebody he was else banned. yeah he was banned from youtube too and that's what other people were telling me they're like ralph you know you could come back to youtube you just have somebody else on the channel just like keem does 
Of course, I don't know. I got a lot of heat on me. I'm not sure. You'll, you'll never get monetized. Yeah, yeah, I don't think. See, don't you should have let me sing fucking Moon Man because it didn't matter <laughs> anyways in the end. But yeah, I don't really think that would work. Uh, but yeah, some people are suggesting that. But yeah, Keem's technically banned from YouTube himself, but he, he counts himself as an employee of the channel or whatever. And so I guess somebody else technically owns it or something. I've, I've actually heard uh, something interesting in regards to the... Um, uh, in regards to the monetization for live streaming and stuff. Yeah. And about in, in regards to if you'll ever get a second channel monetized, like if you get banned and you come back or if you have a second one, you want to get monetized. Apparently, if you are able to enable channel memberships, you know, that little join button with the yeah. fee, that means you're from what I understand, you're OK with Google. You can set up a second channel and they will monetize it. But if for some reason on your existing channel, if that is an option that just is not appearing anymore for you or that just won't enable you're on a shit list, hmm. uh, which means that you're never going to get a second channel monetized. And when you're gone, you're gone for good. Hey, uh, can somebody check my channel? Because I in Ukraine, I can't see that that join button. They would oh, never let me enable the. Uh, uh, no, the, the way you go to your creator studio. Um, yeah. uh, I'll tell you where it is. Uh, OK, I'm sorry. You go to YouTube settings. That's where it is. And look at view additional features. It's the one that tells you, like, do you have copyright strike? Do you have a community guideline strike? Yeah. And at the very bottom of the list is channel memberships. And if you're on a channel that has over 50,000 subs and that's not enabled, uh, you're on the shit list. That's, which one is this? This is uh, an, in community? No, oh, uh, channel, channel, got it. It's on the status page where it yeah, shows you your yeah. strikes and stuff like that. And that's then there's a, a membership that, that thing. studio beta thing that I find. Yeah, I'm ineligible for channel membership. Oh, so I'm one step away from... You should podcast. definitely be eligible for it, too. That's another good thing about streaming is they have, you know, they enabled, you know, they call it subscriptions over there. They enabled that right away. Could it be us. that I'm in Ukraine? No, it's you're on a shit list. Oh, okay. Good to know. Really? Mine is still enabled, I think. I'll check it, but I'm pretty sure that when I got my... Check, check your memberships. Up, I just I didn't enable it because I didn't know what it did. Also, if you set up so they had a thing where if you set up your channel as a gaming channel, you could get grandfathered into that, and you didn't have to meet the criteria. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking it. close to that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, They they Mom. enabled it for a hundred thousand and over. Now it's at fifty thousand and over. Yeah. Mm. Weird. <laughs> okay, I have mine. That's, is that's it, interesting. Is it eligible? Yeah, I'm I'm like, setting it up right now. Congratulations, you're not on a shit list. Not yet. Oh, I need uh, like my thing is I've been looking at people to do streams on, and I've I've been intentionally avoiding people who are uh, particularly big name because uh, like I just I, I'm enjoying it so much. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I, I don't want to I don't want to get kicked off yet, but it's gonna fucking happen eventually. Oh yeah, no, everybody's gonna get we're all we're all yeah, fucking yeah, goners. I'll be on TikTok. So fucking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, everybody's gonna be gone, sure. But um, I'm kind of curious, you know. Okay, the balkanization of the internet and all that shit, and and uh, having like a fixed, uh, uh, um, what you call it, uh, uh, email account to all of your accounts in order to attract you and so forth. So there's no on anonymity. You know, what do you think is going to happen to people like us? Would be driven underground or to some sort of like dark web or some, you know, invisible An underground railroad, so to speak. Yeah, we'll be we'll be in the secret telegram rooms with the the zoo sadist oh, talking yeah. about retards. <laughs> <laughs> That's the future. Yeah, I uh, know. I think um, you're either going to find an alternative or you're going to just be a ghost. It's not necessarily bad. I mean, if you're not motivated by just making money, if you just want to fuck around, you'll be fine. But if you want to make a living out of doing shit like this, yeah, no, you're we're, we're we are all fucked. I yeah, hate but to tell wouldn't, you. It be, <laughs> wouldn't it be wonderful if, if people like Murdoch, Murdoch? I mean, we'd all agree that we like their content, right? And we would like it if they were up the 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 amount of content they're producing because they were doing this full time. There's nothing wrong with wanting that, you know, that that kind of. Um, that we would want independent creators to be earning enough so that they can do this shit full time. I, I just think it's a, it's just a bad, bad thing. And in the long run, it'll just bite them in the ass. I mean, Josh, you were saying about the Chinese experiment that they're all happy about it because they're they're getting all this um, positive feedback, you know, from the from the from the social score that they're getting. But I think that maybe every comment underneath the ad is nigger. Like that's the real. <laughs> Well, that's the reality. I mean, they Coca -Cola don't. Coca-Cola doesn't like that being a fool. Oh, right. <laughs> they don't. They don't want that shit on their platform. They want that fucking money. Have and a coke and a smile, nigger. Yeah, that's. I, I, I disagree <laughs> a little bit because I think I think my thing was um, that 
with Ralph, yeah, I made okay. the joke that there were people who were monitoring his stream very, very closely to see how the, the super chats interacted and how the, how that all worked. And it, he didn't get pulled despite like numerous. Well, they'd probably get people banned if it was just like a video upload. He didn't get banned despite that until so the threat of the love. mistakes I made were one not talking to the Wall Street Journal. If I had actually talked to them and been like, "Oh, it's not, I'm like JF did basically," be like, "Oh, it's not my opinion." Some super chats, which it's not. I mean, I was just reading super chats. Oh no, you were you were the fucking sacrificial lamb. You would have fucked no matter what you did. Maybe, but if I had talked to him, at least I might have had a chance. And then that night, so they turned off my super chats that Thursday night, right before the stream, and then they were watching my show. And so we were going in on the Wall Street Journal reporter. They took us down. They were obviously monitoring the show. Uh, if I had came out that night, maybe and not talked about it, I don't know. Uh, what well, you should have like, done. I might have already been on. Yeah. The your, your your stream after your super chats got disabled. You should have had a stream entirely about like kittens and puppies. Yeah. And how much you loved Israel. Well, <laughs> I didn't realize quite how perilous the situation was at that point. Uh, but yeah, it was, the writing was on the wall, I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, I think you were the guy that was going to be the, uh, the, yeah, sacrificial. Yeah. They're just like, I, look, I, we got rid of him. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and, and somebody mentioned this. I've, I've been holding on to it that uh, in Venezuela, they've been importing Chinese technology regarding the social credit system and uh, positive reinforcement towards. Yeah, Korea they need life. to be importing fucking food in Venezuela. Everybody's uh, fucking starving. You got you to make sure that people just don't know on the internet. That they're starving. That's, they that's know, the they, thing. They know when they're standing in a bread line for fucking eight hours. No, not them. They can know. They just can't go online and talk about it. That's what matters. You're not looking at this right from from the situation of, of Venezuelan government optics. Oh, who is the uh, who's the president of Venezuela? Because he had a Twitter account, and on, like on his Twitter account, his people are bitching about yeah about starving to death and not having any food or money. Uh, he's posting like pictures of him eating hamburgers and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, how have they not? How have they not killed this guy? Like, he's rubbing it in their face. Well, everybody who's loyal to the party eats. That's just how it works. Well, they tried to assassinate him a couple times, but uh, he he keeps he keeps getting away with it somehow. It's all yeah. that padding he's built. Like, yeah. <laughs> you would think there would have to be some type of internal coup at some point. But it, it uh, reminds me of uh, is it Mugabe from Zimbabwe who was the president? Yeah. Like they're starving over there, and this asshole's on social media eating cake and shit. <laughs> no, that was Wearing that was like twenty thousand dollars suits and shit. Yeah. That was way where yeah he had I think it was like a wedding or it was some kind of party. It was like a routine party, but he spent like hundreds of years of of the annual income of any person in the country just making lavish cakes and importing uh, uh, entertainment and importing special yes. clothes. And I think did they kill him over that or? <laughs> no, no, they just they deposed should've. him. He's still alive over there. They didn't actually kill him. Yeah, no, he, he, he's, he's, the last I heard of him, yeah, he is alive. The last I heard of him is he wanted an American woman arrested for mean tweets. Like, he's a fucking pussy. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding. Tweets. Yeah, he wanted her arrested because yeah. she made a joke about him on fucking Twitter. Well, that was one of the last things they did in his regime there, and then they deposed him, deposed his wife. I think his wife left the country, and she's not there anymore, if I'm not mistaken. But Mugabe himself still there, and I don't think they've seized like his assets and properties and stuff like that. He's just he's just chilling out. He's been deposed. His former vice president, uh, Emin Gagwa, or whatever his name is, is the new the new leader. So no, Rhodesia was um, the breadbasket of uh, Africa. And then look at what these fuckers did to it, right? And I'm guessing the same is going to happen in South Africa. You know? Of course it is. You can't South take farmland from, from people that know how to do agriculture on a large scale and give it to unqualified people that can't even fucking grow uh, vegetables in something the size of a victory garden mm. and not expect everything to fucking implode. Yeah. No. Well, what what gets me is that, do you know what the most peaceful country in uh, Africa is? The most stable, economically stable, most peaceful. Probably if you weren't, were to live in Africa, this is the country you want to go to. Which one? Botswana, which is just north of South Africa. Mm -hmm. And the reason why Botswana is so particularly stable is, number one, they have diamonds. And they have a 50-50 cooperation with the beers called... Uh, uh, <coughs> De, De, Deb Swana. Deb Swana is the name. Mm -hmm. And they, they mine the diamonds and, and they split it 50-50 with the country. And the country reinvests that into HIV care and education. So it's it's a functional country in the middle of Africa. And it, it's shocking. But the other really big issue with Botswana and why it's stable is that there are only six different ethnic tribes in Botswana. Uganda, by comparison, has 32. 
So you have these uh, these mandates, like South Africa I, was I'm a mandate. Sorry, wait, can I say like it's <clears throat> it, it's funny because it's racist, but it's true. So <laughs> yeah. did you say that Botswana is willingly doing a 50 50 split with the white people? If yeah. they'll pay for AIDS medication. <laughs> no, the, the government gets the money however they want, but the government actually puts it towards because there's a huge age crisis, AIDS crisis in Botswana. Like, I know, that's, towards. You know, wasn't that chick fired from her flight because she was flying to Africa and she's like, I hope I don't get AIDS. And everybody's like, that's so terrible. <laughs> yeah, no, 50 percent of people of reproductive age in, in Botswana have HIV. So the fact the government does treat it for free socially. Oh, I'm sorry, it, Josh. Were you, when you said the beers, did you mean boars? De Beers, no, the the Diamond Company. The Diamond, no. Oh my God, I'm thinking of, that's like a okay. That's why I said white people. I thought you were saying that there's like a no, 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 no. <laughs> no De Beers the Diamond, is the diamond Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's a, it's a it's a company that's socially owned. Half of it is just for these. I, I thought it was like a weird accent thing, and I didn't want to correct <laughs> you. Like, right. You're too polite. <laughs> you, Jim, were too polite. What the fuck? No. Well, because he knows I, I have an autistic slur and I can't say the word over correctly. So <laughs> he just chalked it up. To well, no, that's that's why it was funny to me. I was like, you got this little fucking uh, leftover, you know, colonist farmer collective and they're splitting 50 50 diamond profit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's so fucking wild. That's why I thought that was all right. But no, the, the country is stable because of, of the racial homogeneity. It's one of the most racially homogenous mandates in the country and uh, in the continent. And all of like Middle East and Africa, those borders are bullshit. They're just bullshit that the, the European colonists had over. Um, South Africa was bullshit. Like all of it. Syria is the big one. Syria is a huge swath of the land of, of different languages, different religion, different sex. And uh, they they don't mesh together, and they're forced under this one fake government, and they they don't want to be there, and that's why there's all this co constant strife. If it were to balkanize and just become the areas that are self governing and homogenous, it would be a lot better, and that's why Botswana just happens to be one of the safest countries in Africa, it's because they're uh, pretty much homogenous as it is. Just uh, just a thought. Well, yeah. the more you know. All right. <laughs> the, the, the more you know, no, the, the problem with Africa is that all this help with insofar as malaria and AIDS medicine and all that shit, all very humanitarian shit like that. But it's the reason that, uh, you know, we're having this migrant crisis in Africa, in uh, Europe, rather. It's the reason while Africa is the fastest growing continent on Earth and women are having, what is it, like something like almost uh, five uh, children per woman in Africa? I mean, some absurd amount like that. And, you know, the, Africa, the African continent will quickly no longer be able to feed itself. And so... It never has. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, no, that news. was because of corruption. But now it's going to become because of the issue of just um, of overpopulation. And what the, what the fuck do you think is going to happen with all those people? Like Nigeria? Nigeria has grown fivefold. It's, in the it's last a self correcting years. problem, let's be honest. Ni we know, well, we know it's not if you leave the fucking door open. Them. You know, these fucking Europeans leaving the fucking door open. Look, I, th I think the European issue is that they're fucked and, and Europe is going to go down the tubes. I think it's past the point of no return, quite frankly. You know? I mean, I'm, I'm black. I, 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 have on that faith, I have faith that the Chinese will move inland from the <laughs> I'm not kidding. From the East Coast and from the South, where they're building up their fucking infrastructure and their economy, and they'll just—it'll be like neo-colonialism. Like, and nobody will be able to call them out on it. You can't call a Chinese—you uh, can't say, "Oh, the Asians racist," because he's doing this. <laughs> God, I, there already are uh, uh, Chinatowns throughout the southern, especially in the the East Coast of Africa. And they teach them Mandarin, and there are there are weird like Sinabu Africans who know Mandarin perfectly, who sing communist songs, and who end up like pop stars in China because everybody thinks it's cool that the one black guy in the entire country can sing uh, revolutionary music perfectly. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's you're gonna see what China really likes is the wood. They like huge old trees. They like to cut them down and make tables out of them. <laughs> That's something China likes. So you're going to start seeing Chinese rail. China built the African Union headquarters, I think, in Nigeria uh, for free. Just you don't need to pay us back for this. Here's a, have a nice have a nice African Union headquarters in Nigeria. Remember, China loves you very I, I much. Know. Please give us trees. I, I know it's really dark, but I, I suppose there's no better fertilizer than corpses. And if you have overpopulation <laughs> problem, they'll starve to death. The Chinese are going to be fucking grateful because they're going to grow <laughs> 
Well, what they're doing is the big shift is China is known for making the small, shitty products, the, the cheap labor. They want to segue to being what America is and have a massive middle middle class and uh, making manufacturing jobs and then move the shitty labor jobs over to Africa, who are permanently indebted to them for the infrastructure they built. I, somehow I'm not thinking that's going to work. I, I well, don't think that the African yeah, population... They've had problems already. This, the Africans aren't too useful. As a result. <laughs> have, have you guys ever watched uh, Empire of Dust? Yeah. Is that the have. one with the Chinese dude talking oh, all this shit? Is oh, that is fucking so brutal. Funny as the, that, that clip. <laughs> oh, man. Who, who has it? Anybody have it? I'll play it for chat. because it's, He's just trolling the dude and just laughing in his face. It's so fucking funny. Uh, Empire of Dust, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it, it's the whole movie's great. Like yeah. they, the Chinese talk about why they won't leave gas out because they'll steal it. He bitches about how their companies don't know how to run anything. He chastises the translator because, like, the Dutch set up everything for you, and you fucking idiots couldn't keep it going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here's the trailer. I'll send you the trailer. No, I think uh, the, the, this, this is the clip. Um, I got to figure out how to do this OBS shit. No, guys, be patient with me for a bit. Just talk amongst yourselves while I figure this shit out. If you're setting up videos, you should be playing the uh, the black guy singing revolutionary <laughs> songs. <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Right. Uh, so how about the weather? <laughs> uh, boy, that weather, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, good stuff. Oh, you know, I, I got something we can use as filler. Okay. While we're Let me pull it up. I'll link you to the article. And then you can all take your guess as to how long it'll take creationists to jump on this. I know it's not the in thing anymore. We've moved past that cycle on the internet, but um, I can already Atheism see Atheism is unstoppable, Jim. Haven't you heard? Uh, I think this should go to everybody. It's a link. Here you go. Ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit, there you go. Shit, 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 shit. Left side. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's just a, a news source, so whatever. Now, well, how do you think that's going to be interpreted? <laughs> right? Oh. I, can, I can already take a guess as to how that one's going to be. That explains why we're all retarded. Right, right, we're right. all inbred motherfuckers. <laughs> Which one? Let me see it. All uh, it's humans. All, yeah, go oh, ahead. Yeah, read it. Uh, yeah, all humans are descended from just two people, and a catastrophic event wiped out almost all species on Earth 100,000 years ago, scientists claim. Wait, checkmate, oh, atheists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How will that fucking kangaroo recover from this? You know, wipe that smug fucking look off his face. Uh, oh, there's no, there's no evidence for Noah, is there? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> is Jim is Jim evangelizing to chat now? It, I'm I'm proselytizing, brother. You need to accept Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yeah, there you go. How do you this pronounce that word? Furniture. Proselytize or proselytize? I have no idea how to spell it. I'm lucky I'm I can even it. say it. If you heard me say it. hyperbole, <laughs> yeah, I can <laughs> hyperbole. Yeah, but yeah, for a while I said hyper hyperbole. That's Hyper how my wife says it, yeah. A yeah, future sporting event. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, okay, for, for chat, let me just put it in the chat. Um, yeah, because, so that you all understand why we're, oops, what, what the fuck happened? There we go. You can do it, Coach, I oh. believe. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers for Coach, everybody, as, as we make our way through this. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Uh, I, I get, I, uh, okay, let me see. Wait. Oh, oh, fuck it. Okay, guys, in chat, it's, I posted it in chat, so there, it should be good enough for everybody. It's a very, it's a very accredited news source, the Daily Mail. We all know that they're always <laughs> up to date on accurate information. I'm sure you'll all fucking appreciate it. Hey. Ralph loves the Daily Mail. He said that last stream I watched. I actually do love the Daily Mail. You, you, you get articles like this and other like right wing stuff, and then on the side there's like tits here, ass here, which celebrities you know fucking around on their spouse, fucking what's his name six nine arrested. I see that on the side too. So it's just classic tabloid fodder there. Yeah, I mean they're they're good for a laugh every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, somebody in chat brought up Thought Audit. I guess I'm behind on that one. What's going on? You didn't see that? You missed it. No, I didn't. 
playing video games. <laughs> so like people were, people reporting like sex workers and stuff for um, tax evasion and other people who are doing like. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's actually that's yeah. not bad. That's not bad. Yes. Okay. And there's then if a, they get caught, you get thirty percent of the proceeds. The the person who turned them in. So there's yeah. a financial. Wait, really? Yeah. Yes. Thirty yeah. percent of what they didn't pay in taxes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, huge exactly. incentive to, to narc. So, which is why um, they're saying that everybody who's doing it is an incel. They don't work. They're neat. <laughs> so they need the money. Which I'd is why they're harassing sex I'd, I'd sign up for it. You know, I'm I'm sort of like regretting that I hadn't thought of it first. You know, yeah, thirty percent, yay me. You know, uh, what's going? On? People are saying Venti is getting roasted. She's gotten. She's been coming out against it and calling it uh, narc behavior. Oh fuck, that's right. Yeah, didn't she get like fifty grand or something? Yeah. Like thirty grand from yeah. Arab print. Or something, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Well, if anybody wants fifteen thousand dollars, they know who to talk to. Yeah, my buddy. My buddy at the IRS can sort you out. Uh, but yeah, because <laughs> oh, I mean, that like, is fucking if, crazy. If, if she if she got paid thirty grand, right, and and her marginal tax rate is probably. Uh, up there, like twenty nine percent, thirty percent. Just to make the math easy, thirty grand, nine grand. Yeah, it'd be about three thousand dollars for whoever narks on her. Fucking yeah, yeah. The safest bet is just to estimate it at a third of your income for state and federal. Yeah. It's a smart way to go. I mean, it'll be a little off, but it's pretty close. Yeah, but no, I mean, you know, there's three grand for just that payment alone. Sure, there's plenty of incentive to do it. How fucking hard was it to pay your taxes, though? I paid taxes. I paid like seventy-five dollars in federal income taxes last year. Just fucking do your taxes. It cost me more money for Turbo Tax than I did for the. Uh, well, that's actual... deliberate. That's deliberate. You know. Oh, they're saying the Findom community is freaking out about it too. Yes. Yeah, uh, they should. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Of course. Oh man. Yeah. Because holy th there's shit, a this limit. is a cash cow. Isn't yeah, th there's a limit to uh, gifts that you can give to somebody. Okay, I, I, I think it's two thousand a year is the limit. Two thousand a year? No, I think it's higher. I think it's maybe it's, ten thousand at, at, at the most. Uh, I, I, I honestly, to God, forgot, but I do believe it's in the five figures. But after that, it's taxable income, and it's like a one-off. I, I forget the rule. Well, I, I totally how are they it. avoiding? Okay, but how are they avoiding paying taxes? Because almost every platform you collect money through. I, I'm fairly certain since you, what is it, a 1099, like YouTube will. And they make you for, sign a, a W-9 before you even get paid. Uh, yeah, right. Which is why. Everything, yeah. It, it's just, uh, I guess that's why it happens if you send a tip like this guy on this platform collecting this amount of money, probably not paying taxes. And they can just pull up the, the fucking paperwork and say, oh, yeah, that's true. Send over uh, one of our guys and we'll get that money. <laughs> send over one of the guys <laughs> with the, the baseball bet get the money and we'll pay the incel <laughs> their, their cut for the good work well one of the things yeah, that people, keep... people don't talk about insofar as the IRS is concerned is that they're understaffed severely understaffed okay and and this has been something that the Republicans have sort of been pushing for in certain in term in the house of turning off the spigot on the IRS they don't have enough people to police everybody oh okay. yeah that's what true the, what the fuck is a premium snapchat or snapchat people are saying that's where it started you pay you pay money to be on the snapchat list where they send out nudes yes <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So it's just whores sending out nudes and getting like what PayPal tips then? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, and then they don't. Okay. All right. I see how this is going. Yeah. All right. I was yeah. trying to. I was trying to think like, how are they avoiding it? Everybody's sending you a ten ninety nine, but they're getting it in such small amounts. I guess is that it? Yeah, small amounts. And uh, I mean, I'll put it this way. I, I do contract work still to make ends meet because the fucking Kiwi Farms is, is heavy. But one of the companies that I do business with was explaining that in their area for, I think, tens of millions of people, there are maybe like four IRS agents work in the entire area. Yeah. So they're and they're saying that's because of Trump. It, it, like they had they already had too few. But then after Trump. The number Holy of working shit. I, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. Somebody said selling underwear. I just thought, doesn't Repsion sell his underwear and sure. his fucking feet picks? <laughs> yep. Do you think he's paying taxes on his degeneracy? I'm guessing Send not. a tip, Jim. Be the first. <laughs> be, the first. <laughs> be the first. Come on. Get that money. Put it in your fucking Ukraine savings account. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go for it. You know what I mean? Um Shouldn't have shouldn't have said that. You, you, the, there's already some motherfucker in chat trying to <laughs> <laughs> tip.irs.gov. Go. <laughs> oh, how mad are they? They must be fucking furious. Dude, they're furious. This. Yeah. Fucking having to pay taxes and shit. God damn it. <laughs> like a normal person working a real job. 
Well, one of the hey, things about the, the lack of IRS personnel that they're not talking about is that if it, gets, if it becomes widely known that effectively the IRS doesn't have enough people to police uh, everybody insofar as their taxes are concerned, then, then tax avoidance or, or outright tax evasion is going to skyrocket. So th once that comes out, you know, because w what happens is that, see, if everybody avoids uh, taxes or evades taxes, uh, let, let's t call it properly such. If everybody's evading taxes, there will never be a point where IRS has enough people to police all the people evading. Okay, and it'll just especially if there is violent resistance from the tax man. Yeah, exactly. This happened in Argentina, for instance. I, I have some experience in this issue. That in Argentina, people would avoid taxes, and there simply were not enough uh, uh, tax people, tax authority people, to police them, and not enough police to go out and, and execute search warrants and all the rest of it necessary to, to get everybody to comply. And so in Argentina, their, their tax revenue just went down the toilet, see? And so that's the thing in the United States, and they want to be real careful about that, because if enough people get lies, uh, you know, the, the IRS and the Treasury Department is fucked, because they're not going to get any tax revenue. They'll be able to collect it from corporations, but not from people, because it'll be just too many people. It's like wrangling a thousand cats. You're not going to. Well, in China, that. let's look at China again. How, how does China, a billion people, very hard to collect taxes from over a billion people, right? Mm -hmm. But what do they do? They don't have cash anymore. Even if right. you're buying food from a street vendor, you're using WeChat. And WeChat has like sending limits now. So here's the, here's the nice future for us. We're going to get MasterCard, Visa Card, PayPal. They're all going to be consolidated under a government regulation. They're going to have AI checking where money is going and being sent from. Nobody's going to be using cash anymore. So yeah. it's going to be very easy to tax people. Yeah. Oh, fuck. What about all the deviant artist uh, people that do commissions and shit on that website? Jim's going to be fucking raking it in. <laughs> He's got a list. He's checking it twice. He's still turning. Yes. Medicare the tax snitch, is that your new career move? Oh, that would be fucking funny. Well, I know. I can just imagine this growing beyond a thought audit. It, it, I can see this becoming something that's going to freak out half the internet. It's probably a good idea to get your taxes in order uh, for everybody listening that does stuff yeah, well, online. Well, uh, I can see it evolving taxes. into like a, you know, a, That's a why I suspect that the people. crowd has been uh, sniffing around for my social security number and my uh, credit card. I numbers. saw that. Yeah, that got posted somewhere, didn't it? I remember yeah, somebody. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck do you need? Well, first of all, what the fuck do you need my credit card numbers for except to cheat me, right? Uh, you know, so what the fuck's that all about? And the social security number, I'm assuming he just wants to uh, get it so that he can... Uh, you know, you know, you know, Listen. call up the IRS or something. So his no, phone. Oh, the, the wife's calling. Oh, I'll just message mm -hmm. her back. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Now, we all knew that Jim was a fed. I just didn't think he worked with the IRS. That, that <laughs> takes me by <laughs> surprise. Oh, I wonder, does this apply to crypto, too? Because, like, a lot of people have Bitcoin links and shit for their... Uh, it would be much harder to audit crypto. Just saying, if you uh, if you're looking for more reasons to get into Bitcoin, as a humble Bitcoin theocrat, yeah, yeah. Uh, totally <laughs> there, chilling, there are many totally good chilling. reasons. Yeah, no, I mean, Josh and I have had long arguments about this. Bitcoin is well, it's going down the tubes right now, and and we're seeing that it's correcting. It's fine. It's, it's correcting. That's what they call it. That's the euphemism. But oh, well, didn't it correct itself from like twenty grand to four grand? Oh yeah, it's yeah. sitting at right now. It's uh, it's about I think last time I checked probably like three point eight I don't know, but no it, it'll it's it had massive dips before it's just it's just the nature of the beast. Oh, you buy low, sell high, yeah, and yeah. then some fucking Chinese guy comes in and fucks with the market and you can't sell any of your crypto, so you're stuck with well, it and the price drops. Nobody nobody knows for sure what caused this one. Usually it's uh it used to be the Bank of China would continuously flip flop on if it was going to ban cryptocurrency or not, but right now it is uh, de facto banned or de jure banned in, in China. I think what happened this time is that a fork of Bitcoin Core uh, called Bitcoin Cash forked three-way, and they're being childish fucking spastics. So I, I think uh, confidence in, in cryptocurrency overall has dropped a little bit just because of the uh, the Bitcoin Cash faggots fucking it up for everybody. So how long has this uh, thought out of been going on? Is it just today then? No, just a, I think a few days, right? Two or three days, maybe something like that. About a week. I can't really? believe I, I can't believe I missed this. Yeah, I know Sargon did a video on it already. You've been busy playing it. Fallout seventy six. <laughs> of course, the hottest new fucking piece of entertainment from Bethesda. Who doesn't love Fallout seventy six? Great, great video game. Well made. Good, good job, Bethesda. Well, at least they've got the modding community to fix it. Oh wait, no, they don't. 
Oh, uh, there's no mods for it because it's fucking online. Wow, they're fucked. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking embarrassment. As I do not play video games because I'm a grown up, I have no nothing <laughs> I know. interesting to say about that. Why do you uh, play video I'm trying to, games? I'm trying to think so of like many a, other a, better a, things a, to do. Hmm? Why do I play video games? Oh, they're fun. Why do you read books? Why do you play chess? Because well, I learn things. I don't play chess because that's like way too gay. Uh, but no, I learn okay, things. Okay, why do you play? Why do you play Go? Um, I don't play Go anymore. Oh, you did play it though. Yeah, but when I was like 14, 15, yeah. Why did you play it though? Because it was fun when I was 14, 15. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, games are fun. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, like, I, I prefer adult games. That that came well, out. Well, I, I don't want to hear what you're finished. <laughs> I was about to say, what, where's your app list at? I don't know where this conversation's going. I don't want to hear about orcas. Bring Let's it back full circle. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think that like, like V dreams about going to SeaWorld? Yes. <laughs> and just being ravaged by the dolphins in the tank. <laughs> no, he's, Do he's you know dolphins. that, that the dolphins are the other animal that is known for sure that rapes um, fellow... Uh, oh, yeah, I do yeah. remember reading about that. Yeah, yeah that, that's pretty interesting. Oh, by Dolphins the way, are actually assholes. Uh, they will kill porpoises by driving their bottlenoses into them at like 80 miles per hour yeah. underwater. Are we, I can already tell where this conversation is going to go. It's going to end with dolphin rape caves. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the zoos said was a dolphin, and we're currently sending down submarines to find the fucker. <laughs> we're we're going to get him. <laughs> Uh, by the way, let me do a quick uh, super chats. Uh, Trump Nation says uh, Killstream Kitty needs to happen. Well said, uh, Denton. If you pay taxes, you are a commie. Brittany Venti. Yeah. Or quote: If you pay taxes, you are a commie. End quote. Brittany Venti. Yeah, that's that's what I heard her say. Penty. Did, wait, did you did she really say that? No, probably you said that you know you were a scumbag or something. She got pissed off because you know. Her money's getting taken from her. So, oh, yeah. how have I missed all of this shit? All uh, right, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I missed it on the whole V loves orcas shit. So you know, Penty spray furries with salt from a pressurized hose. Well said, Fash Badenkut. You're starting to look very Jewish, CRP. Mm, interesting. Der <laughs> Grobman. Uh, except for Jim, time will be a thing of the past. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Let me try it again. Except for gym time will be a thing of the past because if I'm getting paid to do videos, I can't really go on hiatus and shitpost on Twitter. Okay. That kid. Is Coach Cool hey, Kid... Accept or expect? I don't... Accept. Except for gym, time will be a thing of the past because if I'm getting paid to do videos, I can't really go on hiatus and shitpost on Twitter. Oh, he's saying well, welcome, except... Welcome to Except oh. gym time uh, will be a thing of the past. That's one. That's one sentence, Coach. I, I don't know. <laughs> Just read it's it's well, a fucking the- caps. No punctuation. What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> you're just too old to, to catch up with the new grammatical structure. If, if you played video games, you'd have a quicker mind. <laughs> yeah, clearly, clearly. Okay, that kid. Is Coach Cool Kid doing Cool Kid Collins? Uh, yeah, well, I was supposed to do Collins. I will do Collins in a little bit. Rawhide76, I go to the gym thinking this ended two hours ago. What have I missed? You missed a lot. Uh, Valkyries, uh, Jim, tell Mr. Anti-Bully to check his Twitter. Okay. Jim? Check it for what? I don't know. I love when they don't. <laughs> like, hey, just look. <laughs> right. Right, go, go fucking look, I guess. Yeah, and do you see anything? Naked pictures? Naked, Naked pictures, pictures of an orca and V? I want to see uh, V there's and orca. Probably, there's probably a whale getting fucked somewhere in here. I'll scroll. <laughs> um. Are you waiting for a status update? I've got to scroll through. Oh, <laughs> yeah, playing. we're waiting here. Yeah. No, we're doing a uh, holding breath contest. <laughs> uh, Ralph's going to win that. He's a champ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, what else? I don't understand Do you- the grammar of this fucking sentence. <laughs> do you need help? Do you need yes? Do you I need, need youngins to dissect it for you? Let me put it into the fucking. Uh, I, I'm side not. Chat. I'm not seeing anything on. T- I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Well, you know, it's 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 the whole thing is like a haiku. No, like a 
like there's like no Zen there's Cohen. no it's a Zen Cohen. Teen life getting fucked you know, in it's, my it's timeline. Like so. One of those things that you you just don't quite understand what the hell is going on. I put it in the side chat. You guys, this, this is yeah. what um, um, who said this here? It was uh, let me just check the name here. It was Der Grobman. This is a fucking train wreck. And why would you pay, why would you pay money to send this? <laughs> Proofread your fucking message. Well, I think he's trying to say, except gym time will be a thing of the past because if I'm not getting paid to do videos, I can't really go on hiatus and shit post on Twitter. Like I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's a jab at Jim. I'm, I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Welcome to the Spoonie experiment. All right, I found something on Twitter that they might be responding to. Uh, it looks like it's from uh, the Champ. It, it does Tonka have another fucking Twitter account? I have no idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not up to speed on that. I don't know. Yeah, if uh, it says uh, hi, receipts lady. I want you to know just how full of shit people are. Really uh, quick because I'm not being told to literally not say. Jim has a problem with faction people. Prepare for a dump of nonsense that should have been obvious. Uh, he lied to people to say, I didn't say anything. He knows 100% I did. It also gets worse. As everyone says, he couldn't have uh, seen it coming. I literally told the dumbass a week before that this was a plan for that or for them. He was told a week before what the plan was. No way around it. He's literally playing confidant about it because he thinks his Twitter being gone is the end of the evidence. I was smart about it and knew he was a bullshitter. So I recorded myself reading my DMs with him. I don't, my Twitter's not gone. I've been suspended for seven days. Uh, and I don't know what the fucking retard is talking about. Uh, I sent everybody the same DMs for the IBS apocalypse stream. Uh, no doxing, no bullshit. You know, try to send me your videos and your pics ahead of time. <clears throat> Tonka DM me saying he had concerns, but I told him what the rules were. So I don't know. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Nah, fuck him. Yeah. Isn't it's funny to me because I expected Ralph to be way more in the know, and he's just like, I don't fucking know. I don't. But I it's don't like know. none of us have been checking up on the other side. To I, see I haven't really. <laughs> I, I haven't been paying attention to him, to be honest with you. Like, um, except for like the fight, I keep waiting. I was like waiting to see if he'd sign the contract, uh, and I was waiting to see what his promo pick would be, and that was about it. I don't want to watch the Kumit. Like, I don't want to watch that. It's boring as fuck. Yeah. 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 What, yeah, what got me is I was I was on there briefly to, to shit post on uh, Sirachi, and uh, like even when I was there, there were there were so many awkward pauses. Like we're having pauses just because this has been going on for for hours, so we're naturally running out of things to talk about. But like he'll talk and it'll be pauses even with a guy there that you're having a conversation with, and it's just like I, I don't understand how how does he retain an audience? And I, I don't have anything against him personally. I just I could never get the the appeal of the kumite i, I don't know i try, I try I, i'm kumite. looking forward to january i want to see what happens maybe a fight happens maybe it doesn't i, I don't know oh by the way uh braving ruin has sent me like a little tutorial as to how to share a screen and you know I'll, I'll figure it out later uh but he says something interesting that you can give a one-time gift of up to thirty thousand uh for the irs thing yeah interesting but, uh, I thought that's if you're. I thought that I'm pretty sure that thirty thousand <clears throat> one-time gift has to be from family. Yeah, that, that sounds right to me. No, I yeah, that's a, not a random motherfucker sends you thirty grand. No, 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 no. That that would not be a one-time. That's you know, a ten thousand dollars. It, it would have to be through a like a bank wire or a direct cash exchange. It can't be like through a, a platform like Twitch. That's obviously going to be uh, a, a tip or some kind of service income as opposed to just a gift. Like I'm, I'm very sure that's how it is. Because DSP is up shit creek right now because he's a, uh, he's been collecting money for years in in Seattle. And not only does he have federal taxes, not only does he have state taxes, the fucking city of Seattle has taxes for entertainers. So he's paying like three <laughs> levels of taxes, and he didn't even know about this. His, his, he says his tax account fucked him over. So he has like years of back taxes on three different levels for for his income, and he's been struggling with that all year. And he'll still survive it. You're DSP? Yeah, he'll still yeah. survive it. He'll be he, fine. He, he, he could get into the world's worst situation, and he will find a way to stumble out of it. It's amazing. <laughs> he's, he's like fucking Kenny from South Park. You could just take an axe to him, and he would be streaming the next day. <laughs> He'd be completely fine. Now, I wonder how uh, Sargon's tax situation is going. Yeah. Uh, oh, I haven't heard an update on that. Some, uh, some fucking lunatic on my... Oh, you don't, you don't know this? What? What? Uh, the tax situation with Sargon, because Jim sounded confused for a second. No, I, I don't know. I'm not up on that one either. 
a guy on the forum, one of my, uh, I think he's a, I think he's an accountant or a lawyer, a solicitor in England in real life. But he went through all of Sargon's publicly available information because taxes in the UK, the only thing that's public information, arrest records, all this shit is not public in the UK, but tax payments are. Any any really? tax payments are, yeah, they're open. I don't think for private individuals, but for companies they are. Um, and even then, I think it might be for private individuals that are open. But he, he has not paid any taxes, which puts him in an awkward situation because either – a, he's not paying taxes at all, or B, he's using an American company to get his uh, to collect income and pay taxes to the U.S. governments of the U.K. I don't even know if that's possible. Yeah, but if is, that is, is. if there's, that's there's the case, tax possibility between the U.K. and U.S. Yeah. Okay. Well, in, I mean, even in that case, it's like you have a British quote unquote politician who's avoiding taxes in the U.K. Like fucking J.K. Rowling pays her taxes and she pays out the ass for it. Yeah, and the, the law is pretty clear uh, between the U.S. and the U.K. insofar as taxes are concerned. See, if, if you're, you have income in one or the other country, right, you, you can pay in that country and that uh, tax payment is credited to your tax bill in the U.K. So that way you don't pay twice for the same money. You see what I'm saying? Um, and and it's that, that tax reciprocity is like, you know, it's, it's a standard thing. It's no big deal. It, it's nothing that you have to jump through in any kind of weird hoop or anything like that. Um, but if, it, but the, here's the thing, he could potentially be earning revenue in the U.S. and saying that he's going to declare it in uh, U, the U.K. and then not declare it in the U.K., okay? And, uh, that would be a big no-no because it's, it's perfectly fine if you're in the U.S., if you're earning revenue in the U.S. and living in the U.K., to earn the revenue in the U.S. and pay in the U.S. or say that you're going to pay in the U.K. Either is fine, okay? But you have to pay it. If you don't, if you say that you're, you're going to pay it in the UK, but then to the UK you don't pay them, then you're up shit's creek. You can get in a lot of trouble. I mean, I mean like uh, jail time trouble. You know what I'm saying? Didn't, didn't this just happen with the royal family? Uh, what's the new princess's name? Meghan Markle? That, that chick? The... Yeah, she's, she's getting freaked out because the earnings that her family or she's making in the US, is, like they're, they're coming after her for it. It's like she's worried she's going to lose $5 million or something like that. Oh, Jesus. I, I just read I just read a fucking uh, let me see if I can find it. I'm I'm uh, surprised that, that chick uh you know she got pregnant? Man, that fucker better check that it's his. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, because of her marriage to the British prince, both the Duke and Duchess of the Sussex tax returns to the US are being looked into. This means the royal power couple may have to pay tax on not only Megan's five million uh, but also Prince Harry's main source of private wealth, the yearly $300,000 trust fund on which he pays UK tax income. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. No, their staff fucked it up, okay? They should have, uh, this kind of situation, they should have known ahead of time. They're probably like doing like a joint return or some shit like that. Oh, fucking morons. This is just bad accounting. That's surprising, actually. Yeah, if, if they're willing to pay the taxes and it doesn't look malicious, they're probably just going to end up paying the taxes. That's well, good. she has to pay, uh, from what I understand, five years before she can completely cut off her U.S. citizenship and not get fucked by the IRS. Yeah, five years. Yeah. Five years. yeah. But she, she did she resign her U.S. citizenship? No, it takes five years for her to do that, is yeah. what the article was saying. Yeah, yeah, that, it does take five years to, once you, once you resign your citizenship, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, that's their plan. But I guess she's still getting fucked on taxes. They both are. Well, yeah, because you're, you're saying that he has to pay U.S. taxes. And that that means that they must be doing like some sort of joint uh, uh, revenue or whatever. I don't know what it's called in the U.K., but it's it seems like back bad tax planning on the part of of, uh, the, you know, the, the royal family staff or whatever. That'd be kind of weird and stupid that they fell into that uh, easy trap. You know what I mean? Kind of surprising. But... No, I, but, I'm sorry, probably boring your chat with all the tax shit. Do you want to pull in Discord callers so they can call us faggots? Right. Yeah, let's, oh, let's pull in Discord Before we faggots. do that, though, I want to I wanna recount a story. I talked to somebody who knows Sargon. I don't want to say who, but uh, he said the, the little feud between the skeptics and the Squeedy Squad are going to result in everybody getting deplatformed from everything. And they even, people suggested that that was your plan, Jim. Are you planning to kamikaze strike Sargon? I, I, I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so short answer, yes. <laughs> no, I, you know, I'm, a, I'm a good boy. I just do good things and laugh at stuff on the internet. I don't know what to tell you. 
It sounds like they're paranoid. I don't know. But look, I thought they, look, wanted, look to, I thought they the, wanted to roll around in the shit. What are they, what are they worried about? <laughs> well, I mean, like looking at it, like just purely on, on, a, on a tactical basis, it would be the smartest you move from your point of view because you don't care if you have the channel or not, right? You don't have a channel, you get rid of it and get a new one because you, no, I obviously care deeply about my channel. That's why I'm willing to bet it for Tonka's dumb fight with Andy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. But Sargon, you know, he's never going to see those eight hundred fifty thousand or eight hundred seventy thousand subscribers again. You know, so he, he definitely cares about his channel. I, I have never understood this situation. Look, if YouTube asks you when they're when they're doing the great Showa and they're removing all the drama from YouTube, you don't know me, Jim. We, we're not <laughs> let's do the we're not friends thing. We don't know each other. Uh, leave leave my little my little channel. Alone. I, I'm yeah. gonna tell them. I'm gonna tell them <laughs> and be like, "That's my other channel. Can I keep that?" <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, he's just reading Kiwi Farm Stories. It's the exact same fucking thing. Just take it. <laughs> take it. Now this uh, little informant, um, did he pretend, was he LARPing as a doctor slash lawyer and did he want to fuck whales? <laughs> no. He has a big channel and uh, he's in a precarious situation and he would prefer not to have a great deep. Oh, tell, tell, uh, tell Dankula I said hi. That's, a, that's an interesting guess. <laughs> so so this, uh, this source of yours, right? He he, mm -hmm. he thinks that the the, the banning is going to come for everybody the sweetie squad the sweetie squad and uh, and the um, yeah skeptics. they're going to shut down everything Google's going to have a, a a a image crisis an optics crisis where they're just like uh, everybody all these people are flinging shit at each other they're flinging shit on our platform it's they're going to have a like Jim Sterling if you ever listen to Jim Sterling God forbid nobody listens to him besides me in this fucking community. But that's fine. Jim Sterling rants and raves constantly about the drama communities being a, a big problem on YouTube that they need to do do something about. And that's probably what's going to happen. So when the show happens, they're going to take everybody who's involved in internet drama and they're going to cut them all off at once. So it's, it's going to be people like Dankula, Sargon V, um, Jim's channel, Jim's backup channel, the Metacurist Archives, my channel, uh, maybe Andy's, maybe Tonka's, uh, maybe maybe Coach Red Pill. It's just all those people who are kind of involved in flinging shit on the internet are going to be systematically blown out all at once. Well, I, th I always thought that that whole uh, alternative influencer network, that, that, that graph, I basically thought that that was a target list. You know, this is the hit list. These are the people you should uh, take out. You know, and I, I figured that way, when, when that not, happens. Yeah, it's not going to happen like that. They're going to pick people off one by one. It's not going to be some type of You know of the funny show. thing about all this, though? You know who's going to be just fine? Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> they already threw his ass off. He had plenty of time to, to rebuild. He's sitting pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, okay, let, let's take bets. Who do we think is going to be the first to go? The first to go, um, probably Jim. To be honest, no, no I'll take no. that back. No. I'm I'm probably gonna go before Jim, just because Jim has more more social consciousness. Like my shit, I have people who are legit terrorists who dox high ranking members of like PayPal. I got kicked off of PayPal. I'm so thoroughly banned from PayPal because this guy went after an executive's family that I can't even take an Uber with one of my credit cards that I had associated with my PayPal account because even my credit cards in a abstracted sense are banned from they got from tainted PayPal. your your credit uh, yeah. cards got tainted All, yes so thoroughly banned so they're probably like i already have people trying to trying to go after youtube right now just because i'm i'm making i've made 200 dollars off super berries so they're going to go after that as soon as they i would can. say warski jim probably at the top of the at the top of the list of people trying to i mean there's people moving like it wasn't an accident that the um, Wall Street Journal wrote about me, and JF was in that article too. Yeah, uh, this this was not an accidental thing that they were just uh, happened to, you know, stumble upon this. Somebody put that reporter up to this. It was and the IOI report. I, 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 yeah. I think you guys are. I think you guys are wrong. I, I mean, I understand what their concern is. Again, you tell. Thank you. I said hi. Um, I, I think what the the big uh, push is going to be against is not uh, shit flinging. I think it's going to be prep work for the next election, and I think it's going to be politically focused channels. Yeah, I and agree. I think you're going to see people like Alsup and Sticks and others that are going to be maybe not outright banned, but are going to definitely start to feel a push from Google. Yeah, Demonetize, agree. maybe they'll probably well, start with that. With, uh, yeah, with Dankula in particular, his Discord was deleted like the same, like the day before the Brexit vote, I want to say. Like the day before the Brexit vote, his channel was completely deleted off, off Discord. 
And they they said they claimed it was because everybody there posts scat porn twenty four seven. So they, they had to recreate the Discord channel, and it's all been up people, ever since. All the people in chat saying, well, this person will cause too much of a stink, or this person will cause too much of a stink. They shit-kicked Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. The, that, uh, that, that's that was, reality. That was the, the Rubicon. That Once they kicked him out, they realized, oh, we can kick out anybody. Nobody's really going to give a shit. And they're right, you know. Yeah, I, I actually think it's going to be, you're right, I think it's going to be the political YouTubers, Alsip, um, uh, Styx, but also like Lauren Southern, I think they got, they really got a hard on for her because she's starting to do like really serious work, I think. I mean, I, I really I think a lot her. of people will have a hard on for Lauren well, Southern. you know actually. what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I think that, that they're going to go after the more political user. And the one I think is also going to be in their sites is uh, JF. Yeah, I, I think that a little too... Um, to all yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, and, and the fact that he's like chummy with uh, David Duke, you know, I think that they'll use that as the perfect opportunity to, to shit can his channel. Is he? Yeah. There was a ah. couple people that told me that he was the actual target of the Wall Street Journal article and that they just kind of lucked into getting me, that they really wanted to take him down because he's more of like, I mean, our show is pretty much an entertainment show. I mean, we do politics too, but it's not really... I mean, it's just a comedy show. Oh, know? yeah, yeah. Uh, people in chat saying Fuentes. Yeah, no, he's definitely yeah. going to be on that list if it's yeah. politics. He's you still think on just... YouTube? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's still going. Yeah, he's we gone. I like changed Jared my mind. Holt. It's hard to him all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it's lightning in the bottle then for, for streamy at this particular moment? Like, if YouTube starts deplatforming politics or even drama shit, uh, right now, and people start transitioning over there. Do you think they'll have enough fortitude to at least hold up for a couple years before no. they start doing the typical shit? That's what I've been no. told that they're they're going to hold up for as long as they can. So, um, well, I mean, they're not going to be able to financially support themselves because there's already like their their business strategy does not work. Uh, I've already expl explained to Ralph why that's going to fall apart. I, I think they have cash funding. Though. I mean, if they've already dropped yeah, that for seventy five thousand, well, that's the difference. They, they obviously have ties that they're not just going to get blacklisted from PayPal out of the blue one day. That's not going to happen. Well, I mean, no. will they be forced to take some people down sooner or later? Maybe, but it, it's not. They they have some know how. You know, if what they mean? if they have PayPal by the end of the year, I will be shocked. Okay. Well, uh, we are okay. almost the end of the year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Doesn't matter. This happened. The switch over to to stream that me happened recently. All it takes is one particularly loud guy to to fucking Samson shit and bring down the. Roof. I, I I don't know. I mean, I, I I do agree with you that there could be pressure applied, but at the same time, I think part of the strategy we're seeing with a lot of uh, vocal people online is to segregate them. If they have a chance to isolate people away from a main website and there won't be as much of a fuss about it, I think maybe they'll look the other way long enough for that shit to get kind of set out to pasture and then later on come back and wipe it out. Yeah, I, I, I agree that they, they could use StreamMe as the dumping ground for everybody that they don't like and just leave them there for a while. But they also want they also want people to not have money. They don't just want to de deplatform you. They don't just want to quarantine you. They want to make it financially. They want they want to make you financially destitute doing things that are wrong. Thing. Yeah, it's First not off, just good enough. I just think Streamy has enough connections. They're not just going to get thrown off within four weeks. Uh, that's, the only I, way I, I can I, imagine that that's right if Keemstar is involved. But more than like even I don't think Keemstar. Plus, what do is. they have to lose? I mean, their top streamer was like twelve people watching. Like, there's no. They might not kick you off, but you they've, might not be able to get paid unless they are. Up, they've jumped up what like forty three thousand spots in the global ranking since since we moved over. Like, and then it, when Jim jumps over, like there's nothing but growth potential here. See, now, this, eventually, is, this is what I, I'm curious about: is why don't these kind of sites uh, institute a pachinko style uh, wavelength with money? Right, uh, pachinko. That's a Japanese they marble do. game, right? The the currency on Stream.me is sparkles. Yeah, yeah, no, but what I'm saying is uh, you can still have PayPal involved. You just have yes. a secondary company trading in the fucking sparkles. Like, there's a, there's I, a I intermediary. Can tell you. Wait, let, let me correct something. The sparkles are just one thing on there. They also have direct donations that are just like super chats, except it goes through, through PayPal, basically. I, I, can't, uh, I have been through the motions for this for years. I can tell you exactly because we did this with the Kiwi Farms. We had a different website called local.us, and it didn't have any direct association with the Kiwi Farms, but that didn't matter. What happened with local.us is my special friend bought some fucking stolen credit cards off tour, rung up $14,000 in donations in okay, a single well, hour. Did local.us have millions of dollars of financing behind it? I don't well, think that's, that that's The difference then is that you have angel investing that's propping it, it up. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say it was funded with stolen credit cards? Maybe that's <laughs> yeah. what got no, their attention. I'm saying that somebody bought stolen credit cards, rung them up, and then after I uh, returned the money, 
it prompted a internal review and they decided to close the account and I haven't tried opening it since. So you can have people who will attack the site by buying stolen credit cards and triggering fraud investigations. And if they keep doing this, so they go after PayPal, they go after the directors in PayPal, they make, they, you know, target the, the family of the people in PayPal and fucking the crazy bastards out there will. And unless you have serious financial backing, and I, I don't know. I think they're pretty serious. Now, look, is it going to last forever? Probably not. I mean, I'm not fucking delusional, but I think that there's a good one to two years uh, and possibly longer if, if they can hold together and people actually start, you know, making the move. So, yeah, I'm pretty I'll stand by that statement. And, they're, and also th- their PayPal is not going anywhere within the next four weeks. I mean, I just think that's ridiculous. But I mean, we'll see if if, if you end up being right. I will come and I'll it say took Josh was yeah. right. It, it, it took nothing like these these companies i'm i'm actually Josh, i'm just saying they're dealing with big money like i mean they got investors it's not a hundred thousand dollars two hundred thousand dollars is not big money i don't know how much money keemstar has but unless cutie pie is backing this it's not gonna like it's not big money it's a drop elon musk does not need stream.me he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't fucking care uh there's nothing special about this website okay we'll see See, that's where you're wrong, because Elon's the investor. (laughs) (laughs) Teslacast.tv, it comes streaming Nazi stuff on there. (laughs) Elon Musk doesn't give a shit. He he smokes joints and heils Hitler. He doesn't care. (laughs) I mean, I just don't understand why you're quite so blackpilled on it. I mean, will it eventually fall? Yeah, probably everything does besides YouTube. But, I mean, they they welcomed me over. They actually recruited me to come over to the site. They've been letting us do whatever we want on our show. Uh, So I don't. I don't. I don't really see a reason to be so so like down on it at this point. I'm pretty. I'm pretty psyched. So we'll see. I mean, we'll see what happens. Tom will re- reveal all. Well, no, I think that Stream Me is going to be stable for at least a couple of years. Uh, That's because money. it's not high profile enough. There's no. There's no reason to go after you, Ethan, specifically at this point where you're in Stream or Stream as a platform, uh, because it is a small, out of the way nook. Gab uh, was small and shitty, and look what happened to it. Yeah, but okay, we you have to compare how Gab presents itself to the rest of the internet compared to Streamy. Streamy doesn't have a Twitter account where they're constantly shitting on yeah. Jack. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there, there was that. Uh, and Jack is an investor, isn't he, in fucking PayPal or one of the creditors or one of the payment processors that was fucking with Gab? Well, it isn't, all of them did. And it's, it's not even their option. Like, the thing is with Patreon, the, here's the thing with Patreon. You have um, H, HN, when HN was getting big before Frederick sold it to uh, Jim Watkins, uh, he had a PayPal or a Patreon for, for HN. And that got taken down. And they said well, we can't. HN also had fucking child porn posted on their boards and stuff like that. I mean, that's not happening over at but, Me. I'm just saying, like, with this, after 8chan's thing got taken down, Frederick made another Patreon, specifically for his YouTube videos where he was talking about the Philippines. And they took that down, and they completely blackballed him. And I don't know, I mean, you can say that, but the decision to to take somebody off Patreon isn't always Patreon's thing. That's true. Patreon uses Stripe, and Stripe requires MasterCard and Visa Card to make any of its money. So if MasterCard, Visa Card, Stripe, Patreon, any of these these chains, these moving parts decide you can't have this person on your platform, you either comply or you lose all of your business. And the higher up the person is who fucking hates you, the more trouble they can cause financially. I don't disagree with you. I just think your time scale is off. That's that's all. what I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it, I'm not it, saying it's not going to happen. It's almost assuredly going to happen at some point. But I don't think it's. If, some it, rest if it was, if it was, I mean, a I'm built still on thing. Patreon. Jim's still on Patreon. I mean, sure, it could end any day, but I, I don't think it's going to be like the a only thing missing is is somebody particularly dedicated. Once you get that person who really who maybe they're they're living in a boring ass fucking place in the middle of England. They don't have much to do because they canceled their favorite show and start going fucking psychotic. Uh, they might start making... Uh, well, making yeah, but I mean, we're, we're talking about people that are killing sites. I mean, if you want to talk about why BitChute lost Stripe, if you want to talk about why hey, PayPal got fucked, same with Gab, same with the people getting pulled off Patreon. These weren't some spastic that had a crusade going on. This was a decision made at a high level within banks and credit cards that said, we want this done. Now, I can't speak as to why they particularly chose to do it, but they decided, fuck BitChute, fuck Gab, uh, fuck that guy's Patreon. We want this done. And Stripe and PayPal have to bend the knee because the guys they're talking to are bigger than them. I mean, I get that. I understand that. 
but it's it's not that just somebody gets upset and files something. There's something going on with the the financial connection and the background that isn't really out there yet, and I can't really put my finger on it. I don't know if it's one person or a group of people or a group you know that's dedicated to this that you know works with all the different credit card companies and the financiers, but somebody involved in banking uh, a little bit. Yes, yeah, a little bit. I, there's something going on. I don't know if it's meant to kill smaller platforms, if there's some kind of a, a, you know cozy relationship with certain bigger platforms. I don't know what's going on, but it is happening. But I don't think it's like some dude in England whose show got canceled, who's on a crusade. It's some executive in a boardroom right, right, and a $50,000 suit. It's a combination of the two because you, you have you have a deliberate political movement. And then you also have the squeaky wheel gets the grease. And there are a lot of squeaky wheels, and they just need to be – Pointed in the right direction. That's all it takes. Because pay, pay, PayPal is PayPal is the flakiest. It is the flakiest of the flakes because they have a special situation where they're not considering considered a, a financial processor or a bank. They're they're just not. And they have to be extra special careful because if they fuck up really bad, the government's going to say you have to abide by banking regulations, and they don't want that. Yeah. So PayPal PayPal is 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 dangerous especially as the core the core payment processor for your application yeah I, you know I, I i'm kind of a, i'm sorry I, i'm kind of amazed what's the uh, the the fact uh, kim.com why hasn't he ever tried to do like his own version of paypal he's always writing tweets talking about revolution but he because they, they try to fucking put him in jail over m- movie hosting and shit. i understand <laughs> that but he's sitting on like 650 million dollars he could start uh, a company and do a payment processor he could be a paypal if he wanted to he, w- he wants to make Kim coin or some shit. I don't know. I don't have much faith in Kim.com because he seems like a bullivating fucktard most of the time. <laughs> but I, like I've tried to contact him. I've sent emails saying like, look, this shit's happening and I need help. And I've sent emails to, to a lot of people. I've never gotten any replies. People with lots of money living com- comfortable lives don't want to stick in. Oh, oh, yeah, no shit, Josh. <laughs> hey, I run a website that makes fun of retards. Can we talk about finance? <laughs> Yeah, that's not a joke. Well, like, yeah, but uh, welcome to the world of moot. Nobody fucking paid him any attention, and it was a, kind of a similar situation. Well, until the feds got involved and, and bankrolled that shit for years. Well, yeah, but I mean, you know, bring back snacks. It's like, like you, you need a Jim Watkins, you need a sugar daddy to, to like, keep the shit going, because it, it costs fucking tons of money. I'm at a point where I can't put my site on any traditional uh, host. I have to do it pretty much myself, and that costs, like, $1,000 a month. It, it's not. It's not easy. And it's it's going to keep getting worse. It's going to continually get worse, and more and more people like it's it's really cute. It's really cute watching Gab walk this fucking shit from that I was dealing with four four years ago. But the thing is with Gab, what's really inexcusable about Gab is they had millions of dollars. You had millions of dollars and years of time to prepare for this shit that you knew was going to fucking come. And he that fucking fat retard Andrew Torba didn't do shit. He sat on his fat fucking ass making tweets about Jack. For fucking years, and he didn't harden his infrastructure at all, and now he's got shit to show for it. Well, I think he was dealing with a delusion of, uh, you know, scope and size. Like, maybe he thought, I won't deal with something that, you know, a Josh at a Kiwi Farms would deal with because my site's bigger, it's got more funding, uh, it, it, it presents more of a risk publicity-wise. So- sounds like a lot of uh, arguments I've been hearing with uh, skepticism regarding my prognostication. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a common delusion to have when you're when you're trying to do shit online. Well, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like Torba thought he was probably more insulated than he actually was. He, he, he I guess he, it, he believed the hype. Let's put it that way. Well, he had a lot of support from sites like Breitbart and Daily Caller and stuff, and he might have thought that he was, yeah, a little more insulated than he was, and he ended up getting his wigs split. I, I really think the Jones thing should be the the. Well, I, I thought the uh, Andrew England thing, like when when that went down with the Daily yeah. Stormer, yeah, I knew shit was that was a that turning was the point. Beginning of the end, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the beginning of that stupid poem. You know, first they came for the socialists or whatever. Yeah, he was the first guy. And then, well, it was the people involved in it, the hosting companies, all of them, yeah. like giving speeches saying, well, it's just this one guy. I yeah. knew it wasn't just going to be that one guy. And you know what? Uh, it's just, oh, it I remember you're talking specifically inch, about Cloudflare. Cloudflare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cloudflare yeah. made this fucking big post about how I, I, this is the first time we've ever done it without a court order. And I, I, <laughs> I flicked the switch and it was like strangling the life out of an infant. And this is all my power. And it made me question my, my role in the Internet and the importance yeah. that I have. And then after after that, they had issues with their domain name being seized. So they went to, to Tor, and then Tor said something like, we stand against 
uh, Nazis. And it's like, you are fucking, there is so much child porn and horrible fucking shit on tour. And you motherfuckers come out and, and make this moralizing argument about fucking the Daily Stormer. Fuck off. Fucker. We, yeah, I, I love the publicity statement. We at tour. <laughs> won't, we, we at tour will accept fucking toddlers, but not fucking toddlers if you're a Nazi. Take that <laughs> yeah. business. Well, they, they, they don't have any option in it. That's the the thing. And it's like to even come out and say say it. It's like you know you're you're really missing the forest for the trees if you're hating against tour because this is how people in China have to connect to the internet if they want to get outside of their their circle. So it's like you have it's a double edged sword. It always is with with freedom. You have you have the good and the bad. Yeah, it, it's a fuck situation. I, when it happened with England, it, it was kind of like a, 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 it was it was a sign bad things were coming, and then more and more sites started getting fucked with financially with hosting. Uh, you know, Gab had what was it? Microsoft Azure started fucking with them. You need to remove this two post by this one guy, and if you don't do it, we're pulling the whole fucking site down. Well, before I even came on here, I, I my stream I scheduled for Wednesday. I, I titled it, and I've talked to Coach Redpill about this. My term. Internet juche, the idea of self-reliance on the internet. And it, it doesn't fucking work. It's impossible. There's always a contingent. There's always something you rely on. There's always something you need. That well, just, you just build your own internet, Josh. What are you doing? <laughs> just build well, your whole internet. Don't worry. You're going to get your little eye internets very soon. But there's so many, like you have the DNS servers. The DNS servers can stop. Like even if you, if you go out of your way and you become your own top level domain, if you make your own, like if I made my thing called dot Libra or something, it was going to be my free speech thing. If I paid the hundred fifty thousand dollars to get re recognized by ICANN, the U.S. company that Obama stole and gave to the United Nations, Christ. and I, I've paid that money, and now I'm on ICANN, the DNS servers like Google, everybody uses eight dot eight dot eight dot eight and one dot one dot one dot one, which is the Cloudflare and Google DNS servers. They can start refusing to resolve your domain name, and that cuts you off from most of the internet. So you, you, there, there's an infinite number of things and an increasingly exponentially expensive things that you can do to become more and more internet juche, more self-reliant, but you will never be completely free of, of yeah, dependent yeah, yeah, you're, operations. You're, you're right, you're right. So uh, th this is my thinking on, on this issue, that, that the smart thing is that, okay, the, the internet as a, as a playground of private companies should come to an end. And I think that we actually have somebody who could really help us out here, which is Matthew Whitaker. The um, the new acting attorney general who's going to be in there for you know at least another year because you know the Democrats are going to block any nominee uh, just on on just for the sake of being assholes and so Whitaker is is actually somebody who understands the online world certainly better than Jeff Sessions did and he could potentially be the guy to push through the notion of. Uh, um, not merely an internet bill of rights, but sort of like make it clear to all the platforms that, hey, if you want to be considered uh, uh, um, just uh, platforms and, and free from liability, then you better start acting that way or we're going to consider you publishers and start suing you. Yeah. Well, I agree with you on Whitaker, but he's not. They're not going to nominate him from the long term. As no, no, no. But he's going to be de facto uh, but, the AG for a long time. Yeah, but time. they're not. But you can't block nominations anymore with sixty vote. Like it's just the up or down fifty. You know, fifty one majority on nominations now because they got rid of the filibuster on on cabinet appointments. So they can they can put in whoever they want if the Republicans have enough votes, which they I mean they will. So so who's who's next up for AG? I don't know. I just read a couple articles that said he's probably not going to get it long. I wish they would give him. I would like to see him become attorney general permanently. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he said some stuff about the Mueller investigation and stuff like that. So yeah. I don't think that they're going to give it to him permanently, but I would love to see that. Yeah, but will he remain staff. on staff? Yeah, I don't think they're going to get rid of him completely. What was he? He was chief of staff to Jeff, Jeff Sessions. Yeah. So um, uh, I don't know. There's also a lawsuit that says uh, Rod Rosenstein should technically be the new attorney general. Because oh, fuck that. You, fuck guys, that you guys have to. Yeah. It should be uh, Trey Gowdy. Yeah. No, no, I agree with you. I'm just saying they're suing because Matthew Whitaker wasn't confirmed by the Senate. He was just the chief of staff to Sessions. And Trump just said, well, you're you know, you're the attorney general anyway. Uh, but there's some type of attorney general secession act. Uh, so. Uh, they're trying to sue and say that Whitaker's actually an illegal attorney general and it should be Rosenstein, not him. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on in that. Uh, yeah, I, wouldn't I mean, no, Rosenstein's, yes, Rosenstein has, has got to be fired. That fucker should be gone. I don't understand Trump why why he allows such people in his cabinet. But, I mean, what what the fuck? Yeah, Lewandowski and uh, I want to say David uh, Bossy have a new book out about Trump and the embedded enemies within his administration. Yeah. That he that he 
basically let in himself, uh, and they've been fighting him every step. Now, of the see way. all these people in chat saying Gaudi is all talk, no walk. He's the dog that doesn't bite. You're giving him some teeth with that position. Now he can bite a little bit. Yeah. I mean, there's not much he could do in the position he was in. I mean, I like Whitaker for one. He's a, he's an old school gamer gator like myself. So uh, I'll have to. Oh, that sounds <laughs> fucking awful. Why would you say that? <laughs> I couldn't resist. But did you see that? Where, where he, he wrote an article about it, and there's uh, I don't know if he wrote an article about it, but there was some tweet uh, where he's talking about his PC build and stuff like that. Uh, it's pretty funny. So. Now I don't want him in. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't okay. know if he was a fish. What? Go ahead. He, was just, he was on the sidelines. He was one of those famous third party trolls, probably. Uh, part of it, yeah. Uh, let me knock out some super chats here. Um, uh, Grand Moff Alexander, how long until we hear Chris Chan is dead, lads? Oh, hopefully soon. I don't know. You were going wait, to bat. What? Wait a minute. Wait, you were going wait, to bat for him, right? Like, what the fuck? And now he's yeah, that like, was a cat. We, I, I systematically <laughs> dismantled all these people taking advantage of him. I, I did. I, I fucking skewered like a dozen little fucking retard kids that were fucking with this guy. I got all these bad influences out of his life. I contacted the police to try and get him help. Try to get these people who were <laughs> swindling him of thousands of dollars money. And built up a nice little circle, filtered out people, so he wasn't getting his delusions uh, emboldened by people trying to get him to do shit. And he didn't want that. He he, he like he faded out of contact with everybody because people like people didn't want to talk to him about fictional universes. Wait, I, I just want to be clear on this. Are you telling me the dude that runs Kiwi Farms? You got conned by one of the biggest locals out there. I didn't, get conned. <laughs> I didn't lose anything for it. Well, no, no, you, you, got, got, you, got, you, got, you got all the trolls off his back, and then he dumps your ass like a bad day. Oh, the, the the people who were fucking with him were funnier than Chris has been for years, which was uh, part of the uh, double edge for that. Um, but, uh, like, I gave him a chance and said, look, I'll help you out. And I had people who were willing to help him out, and he didn't want people who were not uh, playing pretend with him and with the densional shit. And eventually it's just like, Chris, you can do whatever you want, but I'm not going to talk to you about, I remember about me, me too. remember getting in a huge argument about this, like, I don't know, five no, or six No, I still hold, if, if he were... And, and now you're just like, they said, when we're going to hear Chris Chan die, and you said, hopefully soon. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? That was out of nowhere. I still stand by everything that I said. I don't regret anything that I've done. I gave him a chance, and he didn't want it. He okay. wants to talk to people who will play pretend with uh, Mewtwo and Sonic 2 <laughs> and... <laughs> And it's just like, you know, I don't want any part of that. I'm not going to embolden your, your delusions, buddy. I'm sorry. I would, I would be willing to help you out if you were trying so to help you, yourself. Were you under the impression that his behavior was spurred on by those around him rather than... I mean, so you learned the hard way that like he is the source of his own fucking problems. He, he is, but in this particular... like I don't even know where, like how much these guys broke him to the point where he's willing to continue to use the things they got him to say as like a blanket. Um, I, like I don't, I don't know, uh, but I, I, I fucking well, what's, hated this. what's going on with like the convergence shit and the CPUs and the dead cats? Like, I don't is know. That, I haven't been talking to him. He used to send him? me, he used to be sending me text messages and stuff every day. We'd talk about you know inane shit, and uh, eventually he got more and more, uh, less and less frequent with the messages he was sending to the point where we don't talk for weeks unless he wants something. Uh, I, I gotta more. say, man, like the videos he did with Barb disgust me. Like she's she's yeah. all withered up and she looks like she's completely there's dead eyes and those shit. were her idea. I don't buy that for a second. She she hands it up for the camera. No, nah, that that look you can't fake that look. That's the look of a woman. Oh no, yeah, dead Barb six. Barb has been an emotional manipulator her entire life. I I don't I don't disagree. I, I, and I I think she's been a horrible woman that's done terrible things and has used them quite a bit. But uh, I think she's gonna be dead probably by mid next year. Like probably, she is on her way out. Her her video the videos with her are her idea I, I tell you uh you can just who told you that chris told you that and chris played your ass i don't <laughs> buy what he's no telling. no 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 <laughs> okay I, I gotta ask who the fuck are these people sorry for being <laughs> they're, chris, they're, chris, they're, chris, yeah. they're retards on the internet yeah there you go okay fine and and what these pe these two people were a couple at one point and and now she's like, <laughs> <laughs> well yeah that bad, bad. okay I don't know I have no idea what what who you're referring to 
Chris is the OG lolcal. If you ever hear the word lolcal, Chris, yeah. Chris was it. Chris was numero uno. And his shit's still going on, but he's in a more and more pathetic state every fucking year to the point where this vibrant, dumpy kind of sped guy who was making cartoons and, and, and laughing about it and trying to do his comics, his comics on the Internet. And now he's dressed in drag. He's surviving almost entirely off of uh, McDonald's. He looks like uh, Benjamin Franklin with purple hair. <laughs> and his mother is on the verge of death. And before, like, they were both alive and stuff. And, but now she's, she's so nasty. She just, like, stays in her chair and, and has him go out and get fucking McDonald's for her and shit. And she's going to die in her own trash. Yeah, I, I, like, Coach, I don't know if you know the look I'm talking about. But, like, there's this look people get. Mm-hmm. Like when they're on death's door and she has it, it's like a dead eye look. Yeah. Where yeah, it's just it. vacant. They're vacant. Like it's the lights gone out. Yeah. And like yeah. she is, she is toast. Like the will to live I, is gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's with her, it's over. So I, I don't, it's going to be the darkest saga for him because once she's gone, I don't know yeah, what. The I disagree. Once she's dead, he's going to, he's going to be better off because she, she takes a lot of money from him. She, she takes like $950 out of the $1,300 a month he makes off of, uh, off of uh, welfare income for disability and she spends it mostly on shit well yeah but he's not going to be living in that house no right? the house is gone yep yeah. uh do you think he's going to be able to competently manage his bills he's going to spend it all he's going to take his tugboat and he's going to spend it on the newest ps4 games and then he's going to go on the internet and say buy my comics because i'm going to be homeless if i don't pay my fucking rent by the first or the well, third the thing is when Bar- we had a plan in place for barb dying and we were legit going to fucking drive over there and manage it <laughs> no i i swear to god i am a i am a fucking bleeding heart i was going to do this i had other people who lived very nearby people who had uh, contacts with uh uh, assisted living facilities and shit and we had a fucking battle plan and it's just like over time you, you lose you lose a lot of sympathy for him just because of how intentionally he he alienates people who don't want to play exactly to the to the t with what he wants to do and what he wanted to do was further submerge himself in this fucking delusional bullshit that i can't stomach <laughs> I want to just. This. I'm picturing a reality show with you and some of your fucking mods living with Chris. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny. I get it. It's 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 fucking hysterical, and people make jokes about that shit. But it's like I I, I just imagine myself. With like one of those those green see through visors over the calculator, um, like planning the taxes and shit. Like that's how, like that's my mental image of this shit. And I, I'm just not gonna do it now because. I, I can't I can't deal with the fucking the Mewtwo shit. And whenever you talk to him, you never talk to him because whenever you talk to him, he sends a message back like, mm, yeah, I had I had a conversation with Mewtwo and she's a affir- she assures me that this is going to happen in the next week. Or I'll tell him something like new information that he should be aware of. And he's like, mm, Magichan told me about that. And this just confirms that. And it's just like, eh, I'm, I'm not I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. I'm not I'm not playing this game. This sounds so depressing. This sounds like, oh, who are these people? Why are they entertaining? It, it, it is depressing to a point, but it's also pretty funny. At least it was at the start with Chris, because Chris in the beginning was mostly just Chris. But then you had people kind of coming in and directing what happened. I mean, you had the, you know, the PVCC stuff. What was it? Blue Spike, the one that got him to sh- uh, shove stuff up his ass. <laughs> no. uh, you know, just yeah, like that, and you know, now I guess Josh is gonna fly out and hug him when his mom gets him. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, I don't uh, know what the fuck is going on anymore. I'm, I'm Josh. I mean, people should know this. I'm a I'll, nice I'll, guy. I'll like okay. Trip. Oh man, that's fucking funny. I mean, the- I don't, I don't mind helping people, but you gotta <laughs> please tell me you were gonna show up in a pickle suit and fucking dig his mother up or something. <laughs> No, dude, I, I have a lot of fucking sympathy for people. I'm, I'm not I'm not out to get people. I, I think that surprises a lot of people, but it's just, it's just true. No, like I, if, I, I, if somebody... I, I, I hear this story. I always, it sounds horrifying. It sounds like, like just horrifying, like something out of some perverse sideshow uh, freak show or whatever the hell, you know? 
Yeah, as time goes on, you realize more and more that he, like, his life after Barb dies, if he, it can go either way. Either he can get help and he can fix himself, which he might, if he's in a dire enough situation, he starts to, his, his bullshit goes away and he's willing to, to play game with people. But if he sticks to his guns, yeah, he's going to be like, uh, I did a stream on Tommy Tudor. He's going to be, he's going to be worse than Tommy Tudor. He's going to be homeless. He's going to be digging through the trash. Probably live streaming himself on his fucking iPhone, oh, digging through trash, oh, like God. in the McDonald's and shit. Like, yeah, it's it's like it's gonna be fucking dark. Jesus Christ, um, this is what Western civilization has arrived at. You wonder whether it's worth saving for crying out loud. Jesus well, Christ, I, I don't fucking wish that on him. And I even said it's like you know if somebody if somebody on my site who has a thread who is a perpetual fucking embarrassment can pull himself up by his bootstraps and and make a good life for himself. I, I hope everybody has that. I don't want people to be miserable. I, I, I don't. But, you know, with Chris, I don't see it. Because not only does he not know how to take care of himself, he doesn't know how to how to receive help either. And it, it's in contrast because uh, do you, Jim, do you remember Allison Rapp by any chance? Yeah, wasn't that, that was the one that faked being a girl and their house burned down, right? Or are we talking about the no. Nintendo person? The, yeah, Nintendo, the Nintendo person. Yeah, 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 I remember that one, yeah. The the, the, pro, the, the person who had written pro-child pornography legalization. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she not only, and she said that we dox her and shit. She, on her fucking LinkedIn, she had a link to this thing about her and the legalization of child pornography in Japan. Well, while working at Nintendo and saying that she worked at Nintendo. And she well, was, was married. That. Wasn't her husband a cuck or something? There's some weird shit with yeah. sex stuff with that. No, yeah. She she was moonlining as a prostitute. Her her prostitute name was Maria Mint. And <laughs> she was married to this guy uh, named Jake. And Jake, uh, can, he had on Tumblr, he had this service for uh, teaching men how to be okay in open relationships. So... He was he was talking about how hard it was for him to live in an open relationship, and he was willing to coach guys. He was basically Coach Blue Pill. He wanted to teach guys <laughs> how to be okay with letting their life be a fucking prostitute. And he was openly admitting how fucking miserable he was and how hard this was and what a strain it was on him. And he came to the fucking forum, and we're like, bro, we're making fun of you. We're making fun of your wife, and we think she's a fat piece of shit. But you need to get out. You need to get the fuck out because you're going to be unhappy for the rest of your life if you don't get the fuck out of this marriage. And uh, he was like, okay, if you, like a week after, he never said thank you. He never said I'll do that. But a week after, he was like, if, if you're going to be in an open relationship, I am too. And he started dating this other woman. And eventually they divorced and he's still living with her. So I like I want that for people. If you can help yourself, please fucking help yourself. That's the quote, folks. Josh wants to break your marriage up. Put it on a fucking. <laughs> if you're married to a fat piece of shit who's literally a whore, I, I want to break your marriage up. You can do better. Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. You can do better. I promise. Yeah, you can always do better. And that's the thing that most guys don't seem to understand, that there's always somebody better, hotter, tighter, just around the corner. And and they just wrap themselves up to some fat pig and they just go down the tubes. I don't quite get it myself, but oh well. Uh, Super Chaz, well, uh, Lord Rap of Rap Mountain. We should call the purge uh, YouTube Ragnarok. Good title. Kill Moose Kill says, stream.me is funded by Coachcoin. Ah, uh, contraire, kill moose kill. Jay Taylor, Jared Taylor, says, who is this group, Echo? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the beginning of the white ethno state or, or what? I don't know if I'm considered white, you know, being Hispanic and all. Because you all are white. I'm, I'm like uh, the Latino cow. Go on, man. I, don't, I, I, don't feel bad. I'm a potato nigger. We're not white. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just made me laugh because it's like all the heroes of the alt-right. You got fucking Coach Red Pill. He's from Chile. You've got fucking Jim. He's married to a Chinese woman. You got fucking <laughs> uh, Ralph. He's married to a Pakistani. All the, all the alt-right heroes are like they're, they're well, either like, they're, Enoch, they're sticking their dick in rice um, or or they're they're from South America. Enoch is. Jay, to, I'm not even alt right. Why do people think that I'm alt right? <laughs> You're an influencer, motherfucker. Deal with it. <laughs> yeah, well, Mike Enoch is married. Wasn't he married to a Jewish woman or something? Yes. Yeah. And uh, nobody else. Nobody else wants to answer that one. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he was. 
Yeah, and and uh, Richard Spencer. Well, he got divorced, but uh, or what happened there? What the, what the fuck happened there? I don't know. I hear all these rumors about Spencer, and I, I never like nobody ever backs him up. I've heard he's gay. I've heard he's dating a black woman, but nobody ever posts any proof of any of it. No, the the last I heard was that uh, he'd been accused of beating up his wife, which is like you know par for the course. Whenever you get probably true. I'm just gonna I'll I'll say that I think he beat his fucking wife because he advocates it towards his fucking his fan base. That oh, if you want to have a good obedient woman, you got to beat her. Then his wife says he beat me. He's like I categorically deny it. Like shut the fuck up, Richard Spencer. You fucking beat the shit out of her. But does he go like the 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 Sean Connery route that you know a woman needs? Like, <laughs> okay, I feel, I feel like I missed something here. What are, what are we talking? Uh, Spencer beat his wife. He's when being sued happen? by his you wife. Didn't see that? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. missed it. Well, that was the allegation that he. Yeah. he is this another? One? Yeah, but is this another one of those always oh, gay or oh, oh, always dating a black chick, or is this no, actually? No, no, no. This is no, uh, this allegations actual, in court. Yeah. 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 Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. Divorce yeah. court. Yeah. He yeah, was on yeah. the kill stream. A, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago now, and we we talked about it. Dick Masterson was on. It was the week before I got banned, actually, from YouTube. So end of October, probably. I I don't know. I can't really picture him as a woman beater, though. Yeah, she said he. Well, you never know what's going on behind closed doors, and on the other hand, you know that women lie about that kind of stuff during divorce. Yeah, well, you know, to, to well, up the he money was, and up the up the possibility of getting the kids. You know, and all the people in chat are all offended and horrified. Oh, he's spreading secondhand smearing. It's like, well, no, you realize that he was dating a fucking a satanist. <laughs> like he was cheating on his wife with a fucking satanist. What are you defending what? him for? You? What? What's that all about? He was he was fucking around with this lib shit girl and she was posted on instagram when people found out like haha all the nazis found out that we're we're together i'm gonna start posting my church of satan stuff and it's like how the fuck do you people like defend him after this <laughs> to be clear he denied all the all the allegations yeah, he's, he's, a he's a fuckhead he's a liar this is a fucking uh i, I just want to state kid. for the record that he came on and denied those allegations okay wait wait it's just so i'm clear I, like I, I okay. <laughs> just so I'm clear on this, he's getting divorced, right? And at the time he's getting divorced, the wife comes out and says he beats me, right? And he's fucking a liberal Satanist. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and people are think, saying, wait, but do you think maybe the wife, to get a better settlement in the divorce, is saying he's a woman beater who fucks liberal Satanists? No, no. The the liberal Satanist apparently came from the liberal Satanist that he's supposed to be banging, not from the wife, apparently. Am I, is Josh, correct me if I'm wrong. No, the wife was not a liberal Satanist. That was the yeah, no, no, no. The, but the woman. wife was not the one saying that the girlfriend is a liberal Satanist. It was the no, no. Girl. That was just that was her. That was her yeah. on her Instagram. Yeah. And people are saying, oh, oh, she, she's lying. She's lying to cause them problems. There are fucking pictures of them together in front of a gay flag painted on a brick wall. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Your fucking hero, Richard Spencer, is a fucking faggot. He beats women. He cheats on them. And he cheats on them with shitty liberal Satanists. Get the fuck over it. Find somebody else who's, well, was who's she, less was of a fucking retard. Looking? Was she decent looking? I don't remember. I just remember. Well, I, then, I, couldn't, then, no, I can't then, remember no. her face over the blinding colors of the LGBT flag behind them. No, if, if, she's, if she's good looking, well, you know, you got to make concessions. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Josh. How do you know he wasn't red pilling her with his dick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that angry uh, right alt right dick. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, look, I, I don't quite understand why we talk about uh, Richard Spencer because, I mean, I like him on a personal level. He's uh, he's a nice guy. He's always been nice to me. But, you know, I, I don't see that he has real political influence other than being the bugaboo of the left for, in so far as the mainstream media is concerned. I mean, does he have any real political power? Has he actually accomplished anything politically speaking? I don't see that. I don't see that. Maybe I'm blind or I, I, I'm not looking in the right direction. But what has he accomplished uh, and I don't mean this in in in, in a way of like uh, raising anybody's hackles, but you know what the fuck is the point of Richard Spencer except being the poster boy for Lib saying yeah there there is the alt right. What does he do? It's a genuine question. Nothing. He makes his fucking money off his trust fund, and he he goes around and he says I'm the leader of the alt right. Nobody knew who the fuck he was until alt right became a turn in the mid, the mid 2016s. He ran his shitty little site, and nobody gave a fuck about him. Now he walks around with this this bullshit uh, close cut haircut that the Asians all wear, and he's calling himself you like really the leader. You really don't like Spencer, do you? I'm worse this. I didn't realize that you uh, had this like beef. For real. He's just a faggot. <laughs> he's just a faggot. He doesn't. He does. If he were to have like, there are people on the far right who I disagree with on some issues who are extremely far right, 
who advocate for a lot of the same things Censor does, but they do shit to get things done. And they're worth looking up to, they're worth talking to, they're worth supporting. Richard Spencer is a is a is just a drain. He is a drain on everything that these people say that they, they believe in. Wait, I'm curious, who do you look up to on the uh, on the right then? He I'm looks up saying. to me. What do you not mean saying. you're not saying? I'm not saying. <laughs> I I plead the fifth officer. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, 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 Jim, I'll I'll flip the question at you. Who do you admire on the on the right? I don't admire anybody on the Internet. No, not not on the Internet, like on the right. Well, tell me a political leader that's not either on the Internet or a faggot from Washington that I would admire. I like Gowdy. There you go. I like Gowdy. I find Gowdy entertaining. I like watching people. Who was a little uh, Mexican dude that he would always go? Chavitz, was it? What the fuck was his name? Yeah, Jason Chavitz uh, from Utah. Dude, have you ever watched yeah. those two when they're in a yeah. session together? I don't even really care if they accomplish anything, but they'll just shit talk people as they're sitting there like they just don't fucking care about the time. That I find entertaining. I, I don't they have, have a lot to of faith. And listen to it, too, because I, it's Congress, yeah. I, I don't have a lot of faith in political leaders. I have uh, faith in people... I guess acting as a group for political motivations, but not uh, for the people that necessarily want to head those groups. If you put your faith in a politician, you're probably retarded anyway. (laughs) I put my faith in Sargon. That's my hero (laughs) on the far right. Uh, That's not a deflection. I'm I'm being honest with you. I mean... No, I'm chewing what you're saying, yeah. yeah, I, I, I have more faith in people than the leaders of those people. Let's put it that way. I well, like I, the idea I, I, of an anonymous horde, which kind of makes me sad that the internet's going the way it is because that's going to be a thing of the past. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, you know what? Let me let me recheck that. I will give you a name. You want somebody on the right that I, I sure. look up to that I, that if they were to run for president, I would vote for them. Well, sure. Just just on the premise of one speech and interaction that I saw them have. If Tucker Carlson yes ran for president, I would vote for him. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Uh, when I saw him sit down with Ben Shapiro and they were having a discussion, and he was bringing up uh, the you know uh, what what's your thoughts on uh, automation? What's your thoughts on you know autonomous driving cars on the future factory workers? Like, what do you think on that? He was trying to basically bait him into saying something I'm anti-capitalist. Yeah. yeah I, right. And I I like that Tucker shoved it right down his fucking throat and said, "Listen, uh, it's not a fucking religion. There's no Nicene Creed." that I have to take for this shit. There's some stuff I like, some stuff I don't. Yep. And he just hammered him on, you know, the yeah. concept of, I want to try to protect America's working class and the middle class. Like, it, it amazes me that somebody like Tucker Carlson, who was the ass end of a joke for Jon Stewart. Yes. Right? That, yeah. Like, when he came back and uh, all I could think of was Crossfire yeah. and how Jon Stewart fucking mauled him like a grizzly bear on television. And now he's, like, actually put together. It's unbelievable. He needed it. That's why bullying works. Yeah, the bullying a, does work. Yeah, Tucker is a great example of that. Yeah, my thinking actually with Benway, we talked about it on an, on an episode recently on the on the podcast is that see Tucker Carlson. It, it seems that that uh, for years he was like the 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 approved conservative for the liberal media, but the motherfucker seems to have gotten really red pilled. And Benway was of the opinion that it's when he went from bow ties to straight ties that that was sort of like more or less when it happened. When when Tucker Carlson's all of a sudden started thinking to himself, this is real and this matters. And, and started taking it really seriously. I agree. Well, Carlson's I agree. one of the yeah. He's one of the only people I've really heard address my concerns. And my concerns are, what are you going to do with nine to ten million people who don't have a fucking job in ten years? Yeah. What are you going to do with all the truckers and all the fast food workers and all the assholes at gas stations and grocery stores? Because they're not going to go into another fucking job. All the you know illegal immigrants have the fucking manual labor shit. You've given the machines all the working class shit. They're not going to go into the tax sector. They don't have a fucking degree for that. Yeah. So when you've got 10 million people, and he put it well, he said that's not just 10 million single people; that's 10 million families. Yeah. The 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 drain on society that's going to have because now they're not paying taxes; they're taking tax money to survive. So yeah. it's the twofer. You're getting hit twice that's for 10 million fucking families, and nobody's paying attention to that. Well, you Man, know what happens I, when that happens, right? What's that? That's when civil war is going to happen. Because well, yeah, you fuck with the economy and the money and jobs. Yes, you're, you're always especially. Have to- no, it's not just that because you look at Ukraine and Ukraine's always in a tenuous situation because you have a country split right down the middle. You got the Ukrainian top half, you got the uh, Russian southern half, 
And it's always tenuous. You look at, like I mentioned with Botswana and Syria and the mandates where you have mixed cultures, mixed languages, mixed religions working together. You now have a situation where a once almost entirely white, almost entirely English speaking country is now split right down the fucking middle where you have the Spanish speaking southern half and you have the English speaking white top half. And the moment economic situations become dangerous and nobody has a job. All these fucking guns we have in this country are going to be pointing at each other. And yeah. we're going to see a massive, unending, serious style, knock down, drag out, decapitating, fucking lighting people in fire, civil war that might not end for decades. I agree, but I don't think it's going to be like, um, I used to think that it could be like the Spanish Civil War. The, you know, like like some something like uh, house to house, street to street kind of situation where everybody's just like fighting each other. Uh, but in very intensely, but I actually don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be uh, like a prolonged, drawn out kind of thing with the elites trying to maintain some semblance of order, but like sporadic militia groups and Antifa groups sort of like clashing. You know, it's so, so like a protracted kind of Lebanon type situation. You, you see what I'm saying? That's, that's my honest to God thinking. I do believe that the United States is going towards a civil war. And, and I think that it's, it's just inevitable and I think it's going to be triggered by an economic downturn and an economic downturn is is in the cards because of the way the, the American economy is structured because if basically of all these people who are going to be redundant with nothing to do and and poor and broke and, and with no opportunities and nothing. Well, think of the, the overhead too. I mean, not only, you know, if you put aside even the, uh, the job argument with the 10 million families, right? All right. You're looking at baby boomers who are going to be going into their 60s and 70s. Yeah. We're going to need increased medical care, and they're going to be more of a burden on their families. They add back in. So, I mean, like, it, it's fucking crazy to consider. You put 10 million people out of work, and then on top of that, they don't just have a normal family to support. Now they've got grandpa and grandma who are sick and need fucking care. Yep. And you try to go to a hospice or, you know, that kind of thing. That's going to bankrupt anybody. Like, it's just a really bad situation coming up. That's why I like Carlson, because he kind of seems to tune into that, and he kind of seems to get that that's a big fucking issue that's 10 to 20 years down the road. Yes, And, you know, as far as <laughs> what's going to happen when the economy goes to up and something bad like that happens, people will side with whoever the fuck can promise them a job. That's yes. going to be your winner of your future civil war. The that's guy right. that says, I will put you to fucking work and you can feed your family. That, that's why yeah. Trump won. And that's why he'll win again in the, the election. Because the, you have so many people working right now and they're thankful for it. The, the Jim, the only thing I disagree with is your time window. You say 10 to 20 years. I think it's going to be more like 5 to 10 years. I think that we're a lot closer to a brink than we sort of like realize. Well, I think it'll be phased. I mean, I, I think we're seeing service industry stuff. Um, we're seeing it with supermarkets. We're seeing it with yeah. fast food. Mm -hmm. I think once it gets to truck drivers, mm -hmm. that's going to be a critical tipping point. And I think that they're going to keep pushing it. And yeah. it's just going to be, you know, replace more and more and more people. And that's, you know, I, I, yeah, I, maybe 10 to 20 years is a bit of a, an overstatement. But I, I think everybody can kind of sense that it's not looking good. And, you know, Carlson raised another good point, too, when he talked about you know, because uh, Shapiro's counter to that was, well, we survived the Industrial Revolution where we went from agrarian to, mm. you know, industry. Uh, and he said, well, no, I mean, look at um, the amount of families that got fucked up by that. And on top of that, you're talking about something that took place over a span, of, uh, a longer span of time with this. It's just going to hit like fast. a fucking hammer. Yeah, it's too yeah. fast. It's going to, it's going to, the, the, the breaking point is going to, it looks like people are saying probably after 20 years, it's going to look closer and closer the closer you get to it. Like it's, it's going to be exponential how, how uh, bad things get because the more shit's eliminated, the more that censorship happens, the more people are put out of work for political reasons, the more the mob mentality grows. Like we haven't even mentioned that, that people are fucking hysterical. They are in a, a zombie mob mentality right now going after, you know, their fellow Americans. I mean, it's, it's going to, it looks far away right now, but it's going to look closer every year. Well, what has yeah. increased the polarization is social media and the siloing of uh, mm. differing opinions. Like, you don't have to hear uh, the other side unless it's, the, you know, you want to rail against them. You're, you're not really exposed uh, to different opinions because that's just how everybody's become socialized online now, where the only time you, you hear out the other side is when you're railing against them. Uh, and there's just, I don't know, just the level of hatred for people of different political persuasions now is kind of off the charts. So. Yeah, or if you disagree. As long as I've been, as long as I've been alive. Anyway. Well, it, it it's ties not just a disagreement. You're a political it, it, enemy hand, if you disagree. Hand, Josh, yeah. well, we were talking before about the furries and the fact that before in the olden days, you know, some, some guy who wanted to fuck 
cows or whatever the fuck his town thought that he was nuts and he sort of like tamped that shit down but now with the online world he can reach out and find other furries or other crazies like himself right same with politics because before you had to interact with other people who had radically potentially radically different political beliefs and since you had to interact with them your own radicalization was tamped down because of the necessity of having to interact but now since we're all like atomized and we're reaching over one another to find our, you know, our, our, our colleagues and patriots, our, our, our friends, our ideo ideological uh, counterparts uh, online, then we can afford to be as extreme as we want to be. I mean, nobody serious would have been a socialist 20 years ago. Now there are a bunch of socialists because they can reach out to one another and, and feed into their insanity. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's what happened with trannies. It's like yeah. you're you're not my thing with the trannies are you have autistics, right? They're the ones most susceptible <laughs> to becoming uh, transgender and they're socially inept. They go online, they find each other and they're like, oh, you don't feel like a man because you're not alpha. You're not out there. You don't have the confidence. You don't feel like you can support a family. Well, you know, you might you might be trans. Have you considered, <laughs> you know, wearing a dress and then they'll they'll comfort each other like wow you look great in that dress you really passed you're, you're doing a great job when are you going to start taking hormones and then after that you hit a certain threshold where you can't renege on it you can't say oh this has been a horrible mistake i, I hate myself even more now you, you just got to continue to find more and more delusional people to make you feel good and it's it's not just trannies it's a lot of shit a lot of shits like that the zoo sata shit is just like that and there's a lot of these i'm gonna call them cysts there's social cysts that are just waiting to fucking pop, and it's gonna be it's gonna be gross. Well, my does. my thinking is that we're headed towards a civil war for all these reasons. This this atomization on the one hand of the, of the people, and on the other hand, this coalescing, the siloing, as you were calling it, this coalescing of of homogenous beliefs that are radical. They're too radical, really, for any kind of society to be able to hold them all in. And so, yeah, I think that it, it's gonna it's gonna explode, and it's gonna be like the American Civil War that. The American Civil War was between centralization and decentralization, but it was post hoc said to be about slavery, to give it some sort of moral justification. I think that the same thing is going to be happening, and I think the moral justification is going to be, on the one hand, immigration. And hear me out, and this is going to sound a little bit nuts, but I think on our side, the moral justification will be abortion. Uh, I know it sounds a little bit I've weird. I've heard you say that before, Coach. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think that a lot of people are going to are going to raise that up as a banner because the, the pro-choice or pro-abortion side, whatever you want to call it, um, it'll be easy. They, they are they tend to be all of one stripe politically, and it'll be easy for those opposed to that stripe to pick up the abortion banner and run with it and, and, and cudgel and, and, and unify behind that banner. The only way I see that working, because I think people my age are too nihilistic to put too much value into a fetus. The only way I see that working is if um, if it becomes a race issue and people are like, you know, we need to get rid of abortion because the, the white race is dying. I can see people. I, my I, age. I think I think you guys are putting too high an ideal on what the dispute's going to be. Again, I think if it reaches the point of a civil war and it's a bad economic downturn and people are out of jobs, it's going to be short-term necessity that drives people to this feud. I'm not doubting that. And, I'm not doubting and it, that. And it will be whatever side has the most attractive offer of fixing that is going to be the side that has the best chance of winning. Yes, the one it's going to be an authoritarian who has right, those well, opinions. And the, the one interesting you know, side note to that, when you're talking about how the internet helps to kind of facilitate these extreme views, and we see um, them kind of sanitizing it of one political viewpoint to you know, bolster up the other one. Yeah. Um, it's an Achilles heel that they're presenting. What do you think is going to happen if in 20 years a civil war breaks out and it's nothing but an internet that's basically used by and promoting leftist values? It, and this is where they're getting their fuel for their beliefs. Well, you hit the infrastructure. You take out the fucking oh, yeah. internet. You take down the power grid. Now what are these faggots going to do to fucking constantly get that dopamine hit that they're in the right? It's going to be taken from them. Well, with the uh, the, the first civil war, you had issues where entire cultures relied on, on the slaves and the agriculture they're in. So it was pretty much a, a regional thing. But the current civil war that's coming up is you have sprinklings of people of both ideologies everywhere in the country. There's, there is some regionalization, but uh, especially with the cities. But the cities are the most vulnerable. All it takes is one crazy fucking uh, 
a uh, screw your optics guy in LA to detonate something that brings down serious uh, infrastructure for everybody in a city of millions of people. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of domestic terrorism, a lot of uh, sharing things over uh, like a, a makeshift jury rig kind of internet that is completely separate, little eye internet just between radicals. But you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of that shit. And it's gonna I be do think it's gonna it. take some catastrophic event like a financial collapse or some type of well, yeah, they, it, has to, it has to have a huge catalyst. Yeah. A lot of people are apathetic. They might read politics, they might talk shit online, but as far as like actually going out and picking up a gun or participating in the civil war, I think it's gonna take some like uh, catalyzing event. Economic downturn is the obvious answer. It could be something else, but the, the main like the other, only other Not thing just I can downturn, think of downturn though. I think like a shock collapse honestly so oh, yeah but sure. Ralph, i mean look at the amount the average amount that the american household owes in credit card debt it's like fifteen thousand. Oh, yeah so you're living paycheck to paycheck you've already got fifteen to twenty thousand dollars in debt you lose your fucking job nobody gives a shit you try to go online your fucking sense of there from bitching about it and this is happening to everybody in your fucking neighborhood now they come to take your fucking house away now they throw your ass into the street from your fucking apartment your kids are hungry grandma and grandpa are fucking sick you can't afford the medicine you're gonna have millions of fucking pissed off people that have no outlet to vent that frustration who feel like they have no voice to be heard by any representative the media doesn't give a shit about them society doesn't give a shit about them when you get a lot of fucking angry unemployed people who have no money and who are getting shit on by society you're dealing with 1930s germany yeah, well, exactly. Nerds, That's what I was going to say. Right it yeah. sounds like the, Talk the about automation, oh. and you already hit on this already. But uh, I know some people see that and they laugh and they're like, "Oh, yeah, great." You know, put the McDonald's workers, you know, out of a job and stuff like that. But the more that takes hold, the more people are put out of work, and you have yeah. all these low-skilled people with nothing else to do besides go out and you know. Well, kill also, them. what's really interesting is that uh, it, this is kind of obscure, but you know, the U.S. military actually did a study on a potential civil war in the United States. And the, because sure. most civil wars, it, it's because the, the military uh, either gets split or, or some competing faction, military faction arises. And well, the, the issue because the, the U.S. military concluded that um, th that the um, the U.S. military concluded that it would be split internally if there is a civil war and that it could course. never capture any part of America if that part decided that it wanted to break away from the, um, if that a large enough part wanted to break away from the, the um, from the rest of the Republic or I, wanted to. I know people yeah. in the military and they say they're mostly leaning towards Trump, but there, you know, there's people who side the other way. So yeah, yeah exactly. the military, the idea that the military is going to come in and just crush people by dropping bombs on the it's not going to fucking happen because yeah. you're going to have higher ups who disagree. You're going to have division saying, well, we'll fucking kill you if you do that. Yeah, that's not going to happen. And the comparison to, to Weimar Germany is apt because you're describing you have all these people with no outlet. Well, God, wouldn't it be great if the politicians came to some place where people can convene like a, a beer hall and everybody can kick around some ideas on how to fix this fucking problem? Like, yeah, you're going to you're going to get some nasty shit. And in terms of a shock issue that brings people to the brink of a civil war, even if it is like, let's say Trump's current financial bubble pops. But then on top of that, the 2020 election comes around and Trump wins some huge margin of votes. But then something happens and they take it from him. that. That would cause instant fucking chaos. Yeah, I don't. If they're ballsy enough to do it, it would be people. Politicians would be getting fucking gutted the next day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, by the way, let me do a, some quick uh, live um, super chats. Richard Dempsey says, "Epic stream lineup. Thanks, Coach, for putting this together. I wish I could say I put it together, but I didn't. It just sort of like happened. Uh, so thank you very much, though, for the compliment. Jan DeWitt, just look at the protests in France now. It looks like the collapse of the welfare state. Yes, it does. You guys have been following that shit? It's, uh, I have been, actually. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's basically a, it's all sectors of the uh, political... Uh, environment over there too they're trying to blame it on le pen but it's not just nationalists it's leftists and and you know yeah. about socialists all uniting together to pretty much you know try to get macron out of there yeah it's it's yeah because macron is the ultimate centrist if you think about it and and yeah. so it's sort of like looking at that because i think that that's the thing that concerns me the most that the polarization that the center is getting squashed out and it's just a barbell you know the left and right and and everybody in between it's like a no man's land let me just finish up these super chats real quick uh penty says water molecules move apart as they boil a society atomizes as it collapses well said very well said old angry normie six hour stream has little of everything take my two dollars thank you old angry normie 
Trump Nation, we had a civil war because of the last major rift that developed between agrarian and industrial states. Slavery was the old way that had to be purged. Uh, thank you very much, Trump Nation. Um, yeah, what do you, Ethan, what's, what's up with the, why don't you talk about the, the French situation? Because there's been protests, I haven't been following it that closely, but I know that it's sort of like falling apart over there. Are, are you talking well, about they, the yellow vest thing? You, that's what you guys are referring to, right? The what, I'm sorry? The yellow vest protests in France, right? What are we talking about? I'm sorry, I, I, yeah. I thought you were talking about the riots. Yeah, there's been riots going on in France for like the past, I don't know, three or four days. Uh, yeah, yellow vest. Yeah, that's what they call it, yellow vest protests. They're trying to blame it on Le Pen, How? Uh, but they've been, uh, that's just what they're doing. Like the official government line is blaming it on Le Pen, even though it's clearly not just nationalists out there. Um, I mean, there are national front or whatever they call themselves now. I forgot. They might have changed their name, but um, there clearly are, you know, those types out there. But it's mostly just, it's like a, just a general, you know, feeling of being fed up with the Macron government and just French society in general. So, um, yeah, that was and ga fast. gas prices is a big part of it too. Cause gas over there, I mean, it's, it's not like it is here. It's what, I don't even know, 10, $12 a gallon, probably more than that. Um, so yeah. And he also, he's, you know, he kind of pissed off the left too, when he came in, fo uh, forced in some, uh, some changes to the law as far as unions go and worker protections go there. Mm -hmm. Um, so he, he's pretty much a corporatist, stooge basically uh the ultimate like you said centrist that kind of got in there it's always a good uh, idea to, to piss off the french <laughs> <laughs> as a as a leader historically well, the nationalists worse. already hated him so he did that forced that through and then he's just had a really bad run this whole entire year basically like when, when he first came in his approval ratings were sky high uh, and they've steadily gone down uh he's focused a lot on international affairs and uh you know big ticket stuff as far as foreign policy goes uh while kind of neglecting the the french national scene besides forcing through those worker reforms like i talked about but uh yeah it's it's just well pretty much everybody's fed up with him over there i think his approvals are like in the like 20s or, or high teens something That's like that bad. so yeah it's it's definitely uh it's definitely did, did you all see there. those gay pictures of him with those two black guys I didn't. I don't think it's <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. Yeah, you missed Raising it. Raising coach. Raising. Yeah, uh, there were the, these. Uh, this picture of Macron that he's like, uh, like hanging out with these two black guys, shirtless black guys, and one of the black guys is like flipping the bird at the cameraman. I'm, I'm telling you. I, mean, I, I, I kid you. I kid you not. I, I entered the search term or search term Macron gay pick black guys and it popped it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Daily Mail fucking tagged it as that or what, but I see what you're talking about. I mean, just so fucking gay, man. I mean, I'd be embarrassed if that were the leader of my country, to tell you the truth. It'd be like, Jesus what Christ, how fucking, far we've uh, from De Gaulle to the this? guy from Canada. What? Oh, Trudeau. Trudeau. Yeah, Trudeau is a yeah. fucking joke. That guy's a fucking clown. Oh, I, I I love watching the train wreck that is Trudeau. Did you see when he was in the wheel? He gets in a wheelchair, right? To, I don't know what the fuck he was doing, but he buys the most expensive fucking wheelchair. It's like 20 grand or some shit. And he's trying to relate to people that are in wheelchairs while they're driving around in like $10 shitters. <laughs> He's such a cut. Wait, such a is, yeah. is that <laughs> he, <laughs> he does that every time he meets a marginalized group in some way and he dresses up like them like he's doing fucking blackface. <laughs> <laughs> like if he went to India and he put on all this shit yeah, and yeah. doing the tribal dance or whatever. Yeah. Like look at how Trump does it. He just walks up and fucking shakes their hand like a normal goddamn person. He's not he's not running around on the, the iron buffalo trying to make friends. Oh god. Yeah, it's a twenty three thousand dollar wheelchair, somebody said in chat, and he's in it for like a day. What a fucking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, talk about cultural appropriation. If I were like paraplegic, I would be offended by that shit. I, I would find it just just disrespectful. If, if oh man, it's just pathetic. But well, how on earth? Well, we don't have any Canadians to explain the the, the Trudeau situation because it just seems absurd to me. It's just pathetic. And and when he was like shitting on that woman from Quebec, do you guys see that right? Where this woman, he was giving some speech in French, and some uh, Quebecois woman is saying. How are we going to pay for these migrants? And he just calls her a racist. Where he called her a racist, yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Christ, man. 
Yeah, that, Basically, that, shut up, you old racist bitch. Yeah, that's pretty much what he what he told her. Well, didn't yeah? Security chased her off after that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they were pretty fucking nasty about it. And and somebody had the wit to I don't know if they streamed it or just filmed it and uploaded it later. But yeah, the guys were clearly like twisting her arm, literally twisting her arm. And she's some oldly. She looked like everybody's mother, you know, some aunt or some shit. You know, she looked perfectly normal, not any kind of like uh, you know a, a politically minded. Uh, a middle-aged woman. No, she looked like just a housewife or just, you know, a, a normal middle-class woman asking something perfectly legitimate from her elected leader. And, uh, you know, the, the security services uh, drag her away. And that, uh, to me, seems so... It, it was like, uh, not epiphanic per se, but it was sort of like this classic issue of, like, the, the leadership classes in the Western democracy uh, uh, just wanting only shiny, happy people and shiny, happy crowds. And whenever anything is out of line, they just whisk them away. And I just find that so despicable that the, the elites in the Western democracies have become so out of touch. I want to see them be crushed just because of that arrogance, to tell you the truth. Well, I, I have to say, at least in Trudeau's case, I, I am glad he is an elected official for Canada because he... <laughs> He is the easiest person to make fake quotes and fake videos for, and you can make them so outrageous, but people will still believe them. When that, what was the big fire that went on up there? You know the one I'm talking about, where it just it was a, yeah, it was a huge fucking fire that happened up in Canada. Uh, they were gonna fly in firefighters from around the world. Okay, I missed it. So what happened? I vaguely remember it, but uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, this was in September, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, at the, yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember the name of it. But anyway, um, I made a fake video clip of CNN reporting the news with the fires taking place. And it had Trudeau at the UN giving a speech about feminism while people are burning to death in the upper left hand smaller fucking video thing. Yeah. And I put it up on Twitter and people are like, is that really fucking him? Did he really go talk about <laughs> feminism while people are dying in these fucking. And like it's but it's that believable. Oh. Like he's that much of a cunt. People believe it. I also put up one where it's him like uh, making like a, a face and acting like it's really hot. And the quote was, I don't know what's worse, uh, our AC going out or living in a world without feminism. <laughs> and people really believe that he actually tweeted that out because he's that much of a cunt that that would be something he would do. I thought you were going to say, if we put out the fire, it wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. that, that quote's entirely fictional, but that that's like, that's canon. It might as well be true. If there's a history book that touches on it, it'll it'll say it's true. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was Fort uh, McMurray. Is that it? Fort McMurray was that? I, I can't remember. It was a really fucking big fire, though. Yeah, no, yeah, that no was a, those apocryphal I'm sayings, yeah, they stick with you forever. I'm sorry, you were saying? No, I was going to say, that was in 2016. I thought it was something more recent, but... Oh, know. no, no, no. This this was a while ago. Okay. But yeah, okay, I mean, yeah. I, I, I used to post that video clip all the time, and people were like, wow, he is such a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if, if, if think about the, uh, of the fact that um, the, that somebody would would get to a point reputationally that people would believe such absurdity as that. I mean, you, you must have fucking just fallen far. Uh, but here's the thing I want to ask, and, and this is a genuine question. Do you think that the left actually believes that Trump is some sort of fascist or, or they're just saying that because he's never done anything remotely uh, racist or anti-Semitic or fascist? Oh, or no, English. absolutely. They're indoctrinated <laughs> enough to the point that, yeah, they really believe the, the programming. Yeah. A lot yeah, of them definitely good. believe it. Now, the would, ones up top maybe just doing it, you know, to roll up the base, but I feel like a lot of them even believe it, too. So Yeah, I was wondering if that was like a, a rhetorical question. Because, yeah, absolutely. They totally fuck. They believe he's the second coming of Hitler. I, I, I just find that so bizarre. I mean, they, that they don't even recognize who he is. I mean, because basically, as a conservative, I look at him askance because I recognize what he is. He's a New York Democrat. That's what he is, you know, at best, oh, yeah. a Rockefeller Republican, at best, right? He, he doesn't, he, he's pro-abortion, you know, he's, he's pro uh, all kinds of uh, subsidies and shit like that. I mean, he's a New York uh, real estate guy. Of course, he's going to be in favor of subsidies and, and, and shit, you know. And I don't understand why they actually believe that he's the, you know, uh, uh, Hitler or shit. I, I just don't quite get it. Hey, can you play a video for me? I, I would like everybody to watch this video together. Sure. I'm going to post it in the messages. Uh, just say one. It's one of my favorite things of all time. It came from the 2016 election. Okay, well, let me just... Uh, uh, loading up. Hang on. Let me just figure this... <laughs> <laughs> the title already. All right. This is going to be hard. <laughs> this is going to be hard. Okay. 
Uh, wait, wait, uh, what was that? Thoughts and prayers, Chad. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't know what version of OBS you're using, but you should be able to or desktop capture no, and then yeah, show yeah, I'm, the... I'm trying to. Oh. <laughs> oh, play from the play from the start. I, I can't. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Just right click, interact, and then set it back to the start. Okay. Shit. Uh, I I I think I'm like at the memory at the limit of the memory of my computer. I'm oh. I'm on a shitty laptop. Hang on. No, I can't do it. Uh, rest in peace. I'll just post it in chat, and everybody can look at it at their leisure. Um, this oh, is yeah. one of the best things that came out of the election. It, it, it's it unironically stirs the fucking spirit watching it. <laughs> I don't know what they were going for when they put this shit together, but it uh, is unironically just amazing. I, I can't I can't run it. So, uh, you know what you know what be a better series of videos to show if you really want to capture uh, <laughs> the liberal side of things. Sure. Have you ever have you ever heard of fuck hate? No. Yes. It's a campaign that's run by a guy, and I'm not making this up, whose legal name is Sissy Fag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, you can look it up. He changed his name legally to Sissy Faggot. Um, and it has the most obnoxious fucking videos about immigration and gay rights and especially about Trump. Uh, it's FCKH8, if you want to look up the channel. He actually I typed in sissy fag into Google and Luke Montgomery came up. Uh, <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> yeah. the it's a guy. <laughs> yeah. like, can you put it on the side chat? I'll try to put it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring this guy's picture up. He's standing next to, uh, what's her name from Glee? I forgot the old bitch's name, but. Oh, there's his uh, Wikipedia right there. Uh, and this should be their uh, their YouTube channel. I'm trying to remember where. I think I'm on, like, the Democrat mailing list for some reason. I think I was on Bernie Sanders' mailing list just to see what the mailing list was. And then after he resigned, he sold his mailing list to Hillary Clinton. And then somehow I ended up on a bunch of other, like, Democratic mailing lists. And I, I still get shit from, from Fuck Hate, and I get shit from Hillary Clinton and from Bernie Sanders and shit. And it's just like, I didn't consent to this. Oh, hey, actually, somebody in chat had a good idea. Uh, if you want to show videos and stuff, um, it, Ralph, you, you can you screen share through Google Hangouts? Because you could play the video on your uh, end. I should be able to. I have about 500 tabs of them. Let me see if I could uh, screen. So which one are we trying to play? Uh, if you want to go to check the fuck hate link, if you just want to pick one. Okay. It right. gives, any of these fucking horrible videos would give you a fucking good idea. Okay, let me see. This. Sissy fag. <laughs> I know. It's the, it's the name he went with. The naked truth about sexism. Uh, oh, uh, try kids versus racism. Five fucked up facts about okay. the fucked up. There you go. That's right. that captures oh, the election. Oh, Jesus Christ. I know that fuck. That's where I fucking know it from. That video. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can do this. He also has one about uh, immigration where he's got this like little brown boy that just constantly has got the world's worst braces, and he constantly just screams fuck about Trump over and over and over again. It's the same formula. It's the same. Every one of his videos, every account is the same fucking thing, and then they sell merchandise. Hey, uh, Ethan, you uh, can you share? I'll, I'm putting yeah, you he's like... Up he now. Is. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, it, there we go. Click his, click his icon to make sure that it stays up. Okay, let me find it. There we go. All right, okay. so it should play the sound and everything through here too. Right? I usually use OBS, so I, I think so. Yeah. All right, let's let's just try it then. No, no sound. Can you hear it? No, I'm not hearing it. Well, I don't know if you even need to hear it. I think you get a good idea. That's true. What these assholes? Are <laughs> it's, oh, it's literally. God. I don't even know if that's a boy or a girl. I think that's intentional. Yes, it is intentional. <laughs> Just the little uh, brown people. Yeah. 
he they're they're literally saying things like Trump wants to deport the Mexican and that's so fucked up. And they got the guy with the Confederate flag hat and he's just being a, a racist cunt to these children and the the children are, are epic honing them in real time with uh, with facts about love. The great truth that n- the Negro is not equal to the white man. Ooh. Yep, they're preaching the gospel yeah. of sissy fag right at him. Oh man. <laughs> It, it's a good thing that all these that sissy fag has un unmonitored contact with all these children for his fuck hate campaign. I'm really glad that's a thing that's happening. I'm sure that won't go horribly fucking wrong. Yeah, these videos got. Uh, I, I don't know. Let me see. Let me double check. I remember that uh, they stopped doing them after a while because they got so many downvotes. Like he just. I don't. Maybe it was just too much, and he just gave up. Yeah, is what, 21,000 downvotes to 2,500 upvotes. So basically 10 to 1. Jesus. I'm not OKKK with that shit. (laughs) (laughs) They're so clever, aren't they? (laughs) Yeah, no, top tier stuff. Can we, this is is the thing that's been said, and it, it was kind of cringy when it first became a thing, but now it's just fucking true. Why can't the laugh meme? (laughs) <laughs> why can't they do it? Why did they put out shit like this? Oh, I can, I can tell you. I can tell you that exactly why. Go for it. Go for it. Um, this is a. This is like the double-edged sword of PC, right? Political correctness took their sense of humor. Uh, that this is a thing that's fucked them up now for like the last five or six years. They can't be mean anymore. And like, if you want to be funny, you got to be mean. And they can't be mean like they used to be able to be mean. Like, you're not going to see, like, an older version of, like, a Colbert or a Stewart because everybody's got to be nice and PC about it. That's why they can't mean. They, they, they don't have the access to the same shit that we do, which is just being a fucking But cunt. they're, they're no. mean about, like, they call Trump, like, an orange pumpkin and shit. I mean, like, they're mean to him in that way. Yeah, well, they call him an orange pumpkin, but they don't call him a fucking faggot, do they? Like, I mean, <laughs> you can't do it. No, I, I, I disagree. I, I disagree. I see your point, but I disagree. I think it's different. I think it comes from the fact that the left is uh, fundamentally is contradictory in its ideology, and the right recognizes that and and can poke at it. By the way, uh, Zidane just messaged me and said the link got out somehow because you accidentally shared it. So the link um, to what? To your hangout. chat. Oh, it's fun. That's, time what, I, oh. that's what I'm being. That's what I'm being told. Anyway, we're, I don't know. We're how. getting some callers, boys. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Where? How did the link get? Uh... Oh, and here's our first caller, Big Black Cox. Hello, Big Black Cox. <laughs> <laughs> he said CRP boomered it. That's all. That's all. I, I saw, boomered so it. I don't oh, know. How the hell oh I that? see. I see how he boomered it. You're showing the fucking hangout like on your screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh shit. Yeah, because I edited something. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty out there. Well, so what? It happens. And um, let me just figure this out. Oh, fuck. I, what, what I can't wait to... for the first goat to see to pop up. Or, you know, <laughs> <up> or... <laughs> Thank you, Zidane, by the way. I wouldn't have seen it because I was looking off screen. There we go. Well, I mean, it's too late now, Coach. Yeah, yeah. well, so what? <laughs> if anybody shows up, we'll just give him a, a warm welcome and kick him. Well, here's this crazy suggestion. Maybe take the Hangouts window down so when they do jump in and show giant black cocks or something, it's not displayed <laughs> to everybody. No, I'll just like leave uh, Ralph as the as the face of the chat. Look, we've been going on for quite a while, and uh, so I think that maybe we should just call it call it quits on the on the stream. Uh, I thought you were doing call-ins. Oh yeah, well I'm supposed to. Shit. Okay, hang on. Let me just first do super chats. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were about to get out of here. All right, fuck it. Keep going. No, but dude, if you got to go, you got to go. No, no, no. Come on. Let's do it. I'm going to ride it out. I already okay, decided. Okay, uh, it's like 90 degrees in my room, but I've been going. So okay, go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, Super Chat. The Bastard says, it's nice to see higher IQ talk and not Sargon's BS. Thank you, The Bastard. Schwanz Grub- Gruberman, I have no idea what that means, but I think it's pornographic, says, Hey, CRP, nice stream, you boomer. By the way, ask Jim, when the hell is the next stream or video? Oh, and tell Josh to do a stream on Canada Gin 3. Canada Gin 3. I don't know what that is. Probably username. 
Okay. Um, thanks, Schwanz Tr- Gruberman. Trump Nation, breaking news, a Chinese research group claims to have used CRISPR to genetically edit human embryos, leading to the birth of healthy twin girls. Yeah, that CRISPR stuff is going to be nasty. You know, the manufactured people soon enough. Lurik L. says, question for everyone. How can Hitler did nothing wrong? How can Hitler did nothing wrong if the Holocaust was a fake news? Either way. 148, bang, bang. Uh, Jay Taylor says, I hope all those uh, fuck hate kids get babysat by furries. Oof, that's that's harmful, Jay Taylor. A thought. I remember thought. those guys now, too, because they would have all these videos with like kids cursing up a storm and shit and saying, oh, fuck God, this yeah. and fuck that. Yeah, yeah that, that was so disturbing. Uh, uh, I, I find it just deeply disturbing when small children use kind of like that kind of adult language. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's the boomer in me or, or just whatever. But yeah, nasty shit. Uh, yeah, let's go to Discord because I have promised to um, bring people in on the Discord, and so I will. Let me see. I'll go just alphabetical. Cyber Vegan, I'm pulling you in. And Cyber Vegan, you're on. Give us your hot take. Oh, shit. Um, hey, so uh, Josh mentioned that you guys were going to um, like do a fucking like, collab at some YouTube studio. I, wanted, I wondered what you were going to do for that. I, I can't imagine what you would do for that. Porn. Definitely do porn. <laughs> yeah, because the uh, the possibility of going to Berlin, uh, Josh has been shooting the breeze about it and possibly going to Berlin because they have like a YouTube studio and you can use it. Um, yeah, porn. Definitely to clarify, do porn. we're not doing porn yeah, together. Sure. <laughs> it would be independent <laughs> videos. <laughs> yeah, okay. It, it would be like filmed onanism, I guess then. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, uh, Coach, yeah. they're saying that uh, the volume on the call is too low. Oh, my volume yeah. on the call is too low. So uh, right-click it and then just... Raises volume. Yeah. Right click who? Me or the on air? The uh, the person. So when you pull the person in, just right click them and then just pull their volume up, and it should should compensate for that. Okay. Thank you so much. Sorry about that, chat. Uh, El Fideo Rubio, I'm pulling you in, and Fideo Rubio, I'm gonna up your volume. Okay. El Fideo, what's up? Hey, hola, coach. Hello. How's it going, fella? Um, I want to um, I want to make a question about one of your latest videos. Uh, it's the one about insults and hiding from your life. Okay, so I want to ask you if you think it's better to come up with a plan before leaving mm-hmm. to avoid possible, you know, having to get back to your parents' house and you know be more defeated afterwards and not have the energy to keep on trying. Uh, good question, Alfredo Rubio. Thank you very much. Um, see, I did a video about hiding from your life and like how it seems like a lot of guys just sort of like, uh, uh, you know, they, they stay at home because they're hiding because they're scared. And, and sometimes desperation is the only way to go. Just like walk out the door and just go. Now, th- the idea of just walking out the door with any kind of plan seems uh, a little bit foolhardy. And so you should have like a plan as to where you want to go or what you want to accomplish, at least a vague idea of your goal. OK, but sitting around and, and drawing up plans forever, like getting all autistic about your plans is, instead of actually doing something is just an, another trap that you're falling into. I mean, just go out, go out into the world with with like an objective of where you want to go, but not that thinking to yourself that you have to have this mapped out plan with all the risk torqued down and, and every variable, you know, game planned or whatever you just got to go you know staying at home you're gonna die you know i think that we talk about shit rat and 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 kraut and we laugh about them because we all recognize i think guys and correct me if i'm wrong that those guys are just staying at home not doing shit as opposed to going out into the world interacting with the world and getting a job and getting a life for themselves they're staying at well, home i think we laugh at them because they're flailing spastics not necessarily yes. because of of their accomplishments it's not being it's not being measured it's just it's just the flailing part. I, I, yeah, I'd have to agree with Josh on this. The flailing is really what gets my attention when it comes to these fucking retards. Well, I, I, my, my thinking is that the flailing comes from the fact that they're, like, hiding out from their lives. But, okay. Uh, next questioner. Let me see. Uh, I'm pulling in Kitty Shekels. Uh, we, and, and hang on a second. Let me just raise your volume. Okay. Is my volume good now? Yeah, it's great. Kitty Shekels, what's up? How's it going? It's good, it's good. You know uh, how Kitty Styles uh, says he's a big brain 160 IQ nigga, right? Who's Kitty Styles? He's the, the schizophrenic uh, weed smoker on stream that we talked about. Absolutely everybody By the way, they're saying it's still low, Coach. You might want to. I don't know how to raise the volume. I, I have him up to 200%. Uh, okay. Uh, am I loud? 
loud enough now? Uh, I don't know. I don't have anything muted or anything like that, so I don't know how to bring it up any well, further. We got his question. His question was, what do you think about Kitty Styles? But you don't know who that is. Just normal Discord? Oh uh, no, it's it's up. I I don't know. So, so right click your right click. You see the little uh, speaker icon down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, no, right click screen? the the Windows like Windows itself down next to the clock. There should be a little speaker icon. Right click the open volume mixer. Look for Discord. Make sure it's turned yeah, all the way up. Other than that, I don't really know what you should do. Okay, forget about it. Just uh, tell me your question and I'll, and I'll relay it to the the chat. You know uh, Kitty Styles, right? That guy who was spurging out at everybody on stream me earlier today and a couple days ago, right? Mm -hmm. He says he's a big brain, 160 IQ nigger. Right. Kitty Styles says that he's everybody uh, else cancerous, and oh, you have no reason to. He lives in his little fucking trailer. You, you think he's a little bit autistic? Maybe, maybe, uh, quote unquote, high functioning. I'll ask. Uh, people are asking. I mean, um, Kitty Shekels is saying whether Kitty Styles, who claims to be 160 IQ points and stuff, is actually autistic. I don't even know I mean, who the he, fuck Kitty Styles is. He could Styles be 160 is. IQ, but his his main issue is that he's schizophrenic, and he, the shit he says is bizarre. He obviously doesn't have it handled correctly, and he doesn't have any ambition in life. He wants to smoke weed on Stream.me and get paid for it. So. Like I don't know if he's autistic or or stupid or schizophrenic. Like any the the result is the same, and it's what you see on on his streams, which is uh, kind of sad. It's more sad than funny. I I have no idea. I've only seen an hour of the guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Look, we've been going on for like like fucking six fucking hours. Okay, so I'm gonna call it a stream because it's like too fucking long, and um, I actually have to go to the bathroom and I have to go to a doctor's <laughs> appointment. So. Uh, no. This has been the Coach Red Pill Sunday stream that has gone on very, very long. Thank you to my guests for having uh, joined me. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy. Thank you, Coach. Good time.